Ladies and then and once gentlemen. you get a grappling hook, you can just attach to the roof and be able to breathe just fine. Nice. So oh, there's that. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's stream of Terraria. Um, you may notice a little bit diff something a little bit different is that there are three streams going right now. Um, myself, I am in the bottoms. That's Psionix. Um, we have Buddha, who I want to say is right. Of course I'm right. Yeah, Buddha is top right. And our friend, right. uh, Crump, who is... Or Crumpin, I'm not sure Aye. what he was. Yo, he's top left. He is new to Terraria. So, Buddha and I are going to... Don't judge me. I we have, tend to educate him. Yeah, we're going to teach him about the wonders of Terraria. And digging straight down. Uh-huh. <laughs> 90%. You guys have a lot of rope because I'm pretty low. Yeah, I have 543 uh, rope. Yeah, I have some. Uh, we want to make sure that the rope stays ultimately coming down, or else we're going to be stuck in bad times. I have 100. But then again, you guys are with the wall climber no, no, stuff. No, no. I'm I have just 130. Speedy. So, in like a situation like this, this is where you activate control for the auto clicker, then point your pickaxe down and just go down. Yep. And since we're not going for a complete hell shaft at the moment, we're not slamming our, our any mining potions. Yeah, mining potions. The mining potions are fun. <laughs> you get high on mining power. And... Mm -hmm. oh, that's right, I destroyed most of my... Okay, so now we want to put rope all the way down, or what? Yeah. Yeah. All the way down the center. I think Silenx is taking care of that right now. Now with rope, you just, <laughs> you just have just to... uh rope down. <laughs> exactly. Get out of here, slime. Let's take a peek down here. So yeah, when you logged off earlier today, me and uh, Buddha started playing a For the Worthy seed. That shit's huh. mean. But yeah, I saw, I saw a little bit of that vlog. What, what is that? It's a late game thing? No, no it's, it's a special game. <laughs> Yeah, it's a special oh. seed that um, makes everything harder. <laughs> huh? But yeah, it increases enemy damage. Honestly, with a few cha or with a few exceptions, it's ultimately like if we decided to play on the next difficulty, which is expert mode, because they had a shit ton of health, they had a shit ton of damage, and pots dropped bombs, <laughs> and bunnies exploded. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god, the exploding bunnies! Hence why I might massacre a bunch of bunnies. Okay, so what's our next big goal here? Uh, we the need big... to try to get, well, grappling hook and trying to find or get uh, more ore. Because I'm still running around with wooden armor. I don't know if you are what our ore yes. situation is yes. at. Yeah, so ore is the big goal right now. Okay. And exploration, because if we find chests and uh, uh, hearts the life hearts, so that'll increase our maximum HP. Yeah, and that, that's the mission here is we need to get geared out. Right now we are not geared out. Mm -hmm. There was a worm down here, watch out. Oh wait, uh, let me get this vase here. Ooh! I got a recall potion, does anyone need that? No, uh, uh, not to me. Guys. Yeah, they all go into Buddha. Uh, Just uh, throw I'm the only it in one a... who doesn't have a mirror. Loser. Yeah. Just hang on to it until uh, you go back to the base, and then drop it in the uh, potions okay. chest. Yeah. Which, that'll happen when I just deposit my stacks, right? 
Um, okay. No, because there won't be any um, uh, recall potions in there. Because they're all in my inventory. Because they're all in the. They're all, yep. I see. It's kind of tough. I've never played a game like this where it's like you have almost like a communal inventory or like. I don't know, you have to kind of work together with your inventory. Very oh, strange. yeah. Well, the thing is, is after a while, especially with certain things, you're going to be developing spares, like uh, yeah. something that I usually hoard a bit, where the the fallen stars, so I can get to max uh, MP first. But okay. at the same time, after you hit a certain point, it's like, okay, you don't even there's need another right? 10. Yeah. Um, so that's where, at least for me, where uh, the piggy bank comes in, okay? This is something I'm prioritizing for me. And as you can see, piggy bank isn't exactly a large storage area, so you gotta be very precise with what you're deciding to hoard, like money. I do not right. put my money in the communal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on, yeah. Which leads to a loss of money. Yeah, Traveling merchant. Abraham, what's going on, dude? What kind of goodies you got? Alright. No, that's not what I meant to do. I mean, the DPS meter would be nice, but I don't have the gold for it. Yeah, that's future. Angel Halo, 40 gold. I stick Jesus. rope? <laughs> Foe and pad die, but that's usually for late game too. Pad die. Yeah, and that would clean us out pretty quick to to go through the foe and the pad tie. Oh, and Halo. another thing is if you uh -huh. look at it'll show your savings in there. So I'm at one gold thirty one fifty five, even though that's not what I have in pocket. So putting it into your piggy bank still has it accessible. Oh, uh, okay. I see. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. I mean, need is a strong word, but... Uh, uh, I'm the first one to get Blink Root. Collect all the plants. We will use them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's actually a little funny. I think it only came to uh, the last couple times that we were playing Terraria that we actually started really looking into the potions, how to make them and whatnot. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a copper. But yeah, just about every plant you have. I, uh, Daybloom, Brink, and Blinkroot, if I remember, are like the two most important, at least for early on. Yeah, the... I don't think I found any of that. Well, like the I big ones, like if Day you can Bloom. get um, wormhole potions going, wormhole potions oh. are super useful because you can teleport to... People um, who are on your same team. Exactly. That's why we always pick a team uh, at the start of this. Oh, okay. Okay. Then, so I can keep track of people. It's always a little weird where it's like, damn it, where is he? Yeah, being able to find each other can be important, too. Especially when somebody just starts yelling in a girly voice, Help! 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 <laughs> not the first time that's happened, is it? No. <laughs> Did you hear Dave pissing himself? I don't piss myself. Are you really going to complete the hell shaft right now, dude? No. I mean, that's not the plan. It's just, it seems like as good as idea of any is to find my next cavern. So yeah, that's actually another benefit of doing something like the Hell Shaft, is if you try to go around on the surface trying to hope and hope to find a cave that you will hopefully lead to an open area, uh, because ultimately once you find a cavern, that's where you're going to be spending 90% of your time is looking around for chest jars, houses, uh, light see. crystals. Yeah, and if you just uh, dig straight down, a lot of times. You can find that stuff.
But like the idea is you're looking for an open area that you can explore. In this right now. Small potion! Have you completely um, remapped everything? I Well, I remapped... Uh, it, no, it's just still, I have... It's sort of... Oh, why don't I change that? Uh-oh. I'd better say, I think that's probably why you're running into button confusion. Is, um... Well, I made a few changes. It's just, I don't think I ever had escape or kept escape as it is. So, switching that to Q. Yeah, no, Q is the appropriate inventory button. And if I could find it, because I'm cross-eyed. Uh, uh, yeah. Hi, smart. <laughs> so what do you call three dudes digging in a dark hole? I don't think we could say that on yeah. Twitter. <laughs> Something we can't say on stream. <laughs> From what I understand, Spelunker is slang or something. <laughs> pow, pow. Mm. Okay, so, I'm gonna throw this water out. Nope, that didn't help. Possible well, cavern? Looks like we got a bit of a cavern nice. over here. Ah, life crystal. Nice. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> okay, so... Ah, oh, that's right, you can just do that. I was gonna build a dirt wall. Oh, I lied. Sorry. I say, I don't see no life crystal. I apparently can't distinguish between jars and life crystals in the dark. Even though light crystal should be glowy. It happens. Fighting in the dark. Ooh, we got some <laughs> lead. Go oh, baby. Some copper over near you, Zionix. Yeah, I'm gonna come at it from the top. It'll be easier that way. Let's see if I can make this jump. Okay, I can't make that jump. Okay, back off real quick, uh... Chump. <laughs> Crump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... This is sort of how you make impromptu stairs, because you can see there's water to the right. So this just yeah. makes it so we don't have to worry about flooding. So what, you're, what I'm doing is with uh, the auto uh, cursor, yeah. Because I'm doing like diagonal or northeast of me, so it's always aiming upwards while I'm doing that. Right. Seems to have been not completely necessary. Yeah. But I'm still battling a massive flare, so the dark areas of the map are extremely dark. There's a platform there, so you can or have some place to stand and keep mining. Beautiful. I was gonna say, come from up underneath, just straight up through. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No problem. I mean, don't be too nice to him. He lets that shit go to his head. Uh, uh, that's me. But I want him to keep doing me favors, like building me platform. <laughs> woo woo! Cloud in a bottle. Oh, nice. What's that? Double, Double jump. jump. Oof! Man, you're gonna be the movement god. I don't know. Those climbing claws go real well. Yeah, I'm not sure what I would take. Climbing claws over cloud in a bottle? Well, that's just it is. I don't know. I, I, I'm a bit more on the, I think, climbing claw side. Obviously, it's better once you get to, uh, um, fart. 
I mean, when Can you, you get... mine your um, your wood platforms back? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, if you can manage to get both the claws and the boots, that's great. Well, and that's just it is, you know, with the tinker shop, too. Mm. Okay, so no extract or anything like that here. Oh, uh, yes. Silt. Eh. Silt. Something underneath there? <laughs> Uh, not that I can see. It looks like it's more stone. Alright. Eh. Eh. I'm just not <laughs> cool enough to be able to make that jump. I just want to be part of the conversation. <laughs> regular stone. Of course, I don't know if Zionix is getting ready to build his castle. <laughs> I like my castle. Castlevania. It has the greatest gray stone walls you've ever seen. <laughs> it's an early game material that's easy to get and looks pretty good. So, could be wrong, but jellyfishes give you both glow sticks and uh, flippers? No, they don't give you the flippers. No, they give you shark a sparkle. Yeah, well, they give you a necklace. Um, okay. the sharks oh, give God. you the flippers. Okay, so, God damn it. Uh, does it have to be equipped? I didn't think it was going to take me this long to find something. There we go. So when you have glow sticks equipped yeah. or in your equipped like this, you can hold them out sort of like you would a torch and still be able to see what's underwater. Cool. Is that a different hotkey or can you just shift it? Um, you have to have it in your uh, uh, bar. Okay. But once you have or have it up there, it's going to it's sort of a smart selector. So yeah. if you're facing wall, it'll switch to pickaxe. If you're underwater, it'll pull, pull out the uh, glow stick. Okay, cool. So it does it automatically. Okay, so that looks like that's just going to be a long adventure to nowhere. <laughs> I'm down for it. Oh, shit. Soft sand. Is that good or bad? For, uh, it falls on you. So, oh, see, what oh. you're, what, if you look down here... You have a slightly yeah. darker sand or lighter sand, I guess. That's yeah, hard sand. Yeah. But as soon as you break what's underneath it, that's it all holds. collapses. Is sand useful? Kind of. I mean, it gets used for glass, and you need glass for a few things. Okay. Just a few. I'll harvest it. Yeah. Hardened black sand, all right. I mean, I like glass for building. Also, you need uh -huh. them for bottles. Yeah. Oh no, Abraham left. Okay, bet. Hmm, okay. Where's he at? Oh, you killed him. Oh, you destroyed my torches! Daddy. That had to be done. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Did you die? No. <laughs> now he died. <laughs> that was five, six different traps right there. So you got a little platform there with a gold chest. Nice, you're yep. gonna take my goodies. <laughs> but yeah, I know, hop on that, open it up, and enjoy the goodies. Wait, oh, oh, down to the right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you'll see a little platform area oh, just over to the right. It's over a void now, so you have to be careful. <laughs> Get it? No, no. 
Oh, you're building over it. <laughs> Not a building idea. over it. I, I messed up. Actually, this could work. Well, you could just drop down from on top or over it. Acorn. Acorn. There we go. Very efficient use of wood platforms, I'm sure. Oh, okay. dude, with how many wood platforms we've used historically in this game. <laughs> oh! I didn't mean huh. to do that! No, you're gonna beat me to it now. <laughs> well, so we have rope, so we can finish nope. this thing without getting killed? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm cutting down the bottom aspect, but the top area just below the cart should still be there. It's so aggravating. Eh, it's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> Piggy bank, yeah, I'm good. Ah, uh, did somebody break their cart? No, I want to get the road past oh. the cart. Oh, I figured we'd leave the cart there. Well, I need to get the rope past it first. But I'll put the cart back. That platform saved my life. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dead here, and then I magically ended up on the platform. The world yeah, you wanna go wrong. Right, Danny? Yeah. Let me get it. Let me get it. Oh, you're too quick. And jump. So, see, days. here's where you messed up. Wait, I'm not Ooh, there yet. A cloud and a bottle for you, too. Oh, oh. Fuck both How did you, you guys. No, oh, you, you just, just press down. It? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't and know right there was click. something underneath it. Okay. Yeah, no. If anything's like that, there's what? always going to be a platform or what have you. And once you're done looting it... Oh, you didn't... <laughs> you didn't take it. I just it. <laughs> teleported back again. And that happens a lot. So... Always make sure you switch over to a weapon or something. There's too many times me and Zionics have, hey, yep. I'm right back where I wanted to be. God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I know. I thought you teleported her away. All excited. I was like, come on, man. Don't forget to pick up the chest. We can use those. Oh, boy. Daro did not die here. Ah, my ghost! And there's a worm. Nice. Is this still there? Come yeah. for it. Okay. Now this cavern's getting big enough that I'm getting confused. Yeah, that happens. Mm -hmm. Where I'm at. Unless you're me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a great memory for shit like this for some reason. You were a mole in your past life? Probably. Okay, this worm is really trying to get on my nerves now, huh? Death to ghosts. Yeah, just keep heading right. Yeah. Uh-oh. It looks like he's... Zionix is going to steal it from you. No. Ooh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the worm knocked me off. <laughs> I can't believe I got here first. <laughs> I leave it to you, Zionix. You do what you do. I'll, I'll give it to Crumpet. I'll... <laughs> I guess I could have been nice and actually just picked it up and brought it back to him, but, you know, it's a worthy experience. It 
it's a learning experience. I have to go through it. The stupid worm pushed me off right when I got to the end, too. Mm -hmm. We have bounced many a times in this game. <laughs> Yeah, I forget good. they disen disengage you if uh, if you're on a grappling hook too, or does the grappling hook keep you? The worms? No, I think grappling hooks will keep you in place. Ooh, another thing I can show, Crump. But yeah, no, that's the other thing too is what like we were talking about earlier about using platforms dude you use as many platforms as you need to get from point a to point b if you build an entire bridge more power to you yeah because it's easy to i mean it just takes wood right yeah, yeah. that's why i told you you can't have enough wood yeah right okay so what are we looking at okay so if he did you get the chest and bring? Oh, okay, he took it. Yeah, so I took the over chest. Here. Come up. Oh, there's a spider lair. Sweet. Careful. So you want to come over here? Oh yeah, you're showing it to him. So yeah. that's a bomb. Or that's a bunch of bombs, and that thing up there is a detonator. So obviously okay. you just don't want to step on the detonator, but you can mine it up. So now it's harmless. And then you go over, same thing over here. You got the bomb, so you mine up the bomb. You mine it. But There's your cloud in a bottle, crumping. Oh, thank you. What is it? Double jump? Cloud in a bottle. It's an accessory. Yeah, you have to equip it to your accessory slot like you did with the climbing glo claws and whatnot. Cloud in a bottle. Ooh. Now jump and then hold space. Thanks, there you go. Ooh. Cool. Let's go to the left side, actually, because there was... What the heck? Bat. Yeah. Get out of here, bat. Bats will ruin your day. Twice on Sunday. Um, so to the left there was a lot of materials too. I think there was some gold and stuff. Oh no, that's not a spider. That's a... Oh, fuck me. Awesome. No, uh, no, no. What? Savage Bone Sword. 18 melee damage. So, uh, you want to give that to the beginner, or? I can give huh? you my old spear. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take the spear. Hey. I'll take the spear. How about the guy who's still walking around with a copper sword? Oh, uh, he does have a compelling yeah. point there. <laughs> but you're so experienced, I mean. The way I'm out of Okay. Okay, okay he pointed out the uh, silt to you earlier, right? So the that silt? stuff right there is silt. You want to mine that. We're not going to be able to use oh, right it here. for a while. Uh, yes. Okay. And it's just like the sand I showed you earlier, so it'll keep falling down. So if you can mine just at the base of it, it'll save you some time from moving the cursor about. Gotcha. And another track. It's probably the one I've been using. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a fairy. Oh, angry fairy. I don't like us. No. So he still likes you. The fairy's not going to hurt you. And you want to follow the fairy. It was a black blob. <laughs> follow it? Yeah, Ooh, if it's going here? someplace, you want to follow it. Ooh, okay. It disappeared. I don't care about 
That? Stop it. That was awesome. I got a bunch of stuff. Where did it take you? Underwater uh, chest from the look of it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Yeah, it was an underwater chest. Let me check my inventory and see what I actually got. I got glow stick, recall potion, flat, 10 platinum bars, suspicious looking eye. Summons the oh, eye that summons a boss. Yeah, that's when we're ready for the first boss. We'll use that. Okay. Okay. I got okay, a port home. Bucket. Okay. There's just threw a spear at you, Darrow. Thank you. Okay. I got a fleeting inner tube. Grants the ability to float in water. Plus two movement speed. Ooh, <laughs> who wants it? Who wants it? I think you have to have Sonic? it equipped as a main weapon. Yeah, it's a... Well, oh, the really? inner tube, I believe, is an accessory. Vanity slots, it says. No, I guess it is an accessory. So here, I'll give it to somebody who wants it. Yeah, I'll take it. Another traveling merchant. And then should I put the silt blocks in the building chest? What blocks? Uh, silt. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know where Zonix put them. And he has nothing. Ooh. Yeah. No, that's one platinum. I miss it, starting off with yeah. something items. If you quick stack your silt block should go somewhere. I don't remember exactly where I put them. Nowhere from the look of it, so yeah, put them in building blocks. I just put mine 29 in there. Okay. Either that or you put them in your piggy bank. Oh, now I can deposit using nearby chests. Okay, so what do sandcastles do? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> they do look I pretty. It or put it in misc, I guess. Put it in misc or honestly sell it. That ultimately comes down to whether you want to be the one who like, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna use this later. So are we gonna save our original copper swords or are we just gonna sell them and make them later? I just sold mine. Um, I don't know if we're gonna make it to Zenith Blade or not, I'm not sure. Yeah, still it's good to... Oh wow, this is mine. So I'm going to be forging. Prison ore. Yeah, we got a bunch of ore. If you guys want to make. Put the lead in there. I took them all. Well, I took all the ore at least. No, and I took all the bars. No, I took most of the bars. Don't worry, I'm just forging them into bars right now, but I want to see what the overall total is. Should I put the suspicious looking eye in a chest or just hold on to it? Yeah, put, put it, it in into the, the animal bits. Animal bits, all right. Screw you, Cthulhu. And you think this is um, you know, highly speci specified? I get to the point where I'm. We're gonna have probably thirty chests. At least. Thirty-four platinum bars, sixty-two iron bar or lead bars. God damn it! They're both fish. So I'm going to deck myself out in some copper armor now, so I'm less squishy. What armor are you guys running around in? Wood. Wood. <laughs> okay, come over to me then, Jordan. Okay. Go, go to the other side of me, yeah. Ooh. Ink, ink. Thank you. What? Do we have enough for three sets? 
Or did you just give me yours? No, I just gave you the first one I made. We oh, are wait. shy. Um, let's see, 16, 20. Oh no! <laughs> I think we're shy by one bar. <laughs> what kind of bar? Uh... Copper bar. So we need three Where more copper, copper ore, or two more copper ore. Oh, I don't. I just deposited all mine. Did I craft my wood armor or sell it? Just trash somewhere? it. You can't sell it for anything. Yeah, it's not worth anything. Okay. So in the... Oh, more lead ore. So in the iron chest... Or the iron chest. In the metal chest, the bars and ores chest, I put copper helm and copper chest. So you just need a little... Or like I said, one more bar, I believe, to make the copper pants. Okay, so we just need to find some copper. Oh, so we only got enough for two sets? Sounds two like and it. two third sets. Oh, okay. Sorry. So you need just one more so you can have enough to make uh, um, the pants. You do have a sword with 18 damage, so I think it kind of balances out, right? Yeah, just kill them before <laughs> they touch you. <laughs> I hate you guys. Hey, don't cop that idea with me. I got a spear. That's <laughs> <laughs> gonna hurt. Oh, good, it didn't hurt. Back. Back. Oh, I'm surprised you left those alone. Or did you want them to grow? Oh, I wanted to grow. I planted those. All right. Um, you're talking about the little emerald trees, right? Yeah. Yeah. They. Uh, yeah, no. I saw them here. I was like, he wouldn't usually leave. Ju just leave those behind. Okay, so if I have rope, should I just add it to our mega shaft or whatever you call it? Yeah. Them? Uh, usually, yeah, but we usually just do it from the top because it's easy enough to just attach it onto all the descending rope. Yeah. And you can do that from not even being at the bottom of it? Yeah, just you, anywhere it, on the rope you can do it. You yeah. ultimately are working your way that. down, though. Yeah. Sweet. Thanks, Ionix. So if I hmm. my rope on. Heart. What, what did I do? You left a light crystal, apparently. Ow. Oh. Yes, 120 hit points. I'm immortal. And copper. Oh, no. oh wow. If you Careful, died here, it looks like uh, you just died at an opportune time. Yeah, I died up there. Or, wait, where are you? Yeah, no. Yeah, just a little bit to the right of where I'm at is where... Oh, that's actually so literally, literally where right I was when I was, uh... It was literally right here in the water. Yeah, yeah. You, you lucked out. I got hit by a boulder. Right here. Well, that just is. I saw the boulder shaft up there. I was like, huh. Oh, hey, look. Copper. Oh, I found you guys. Over here, worms. There. Oh, I'm going to take this opportunity. Get me some copper shit. That's a good plan. You can't double jump from the water? Yes. Ah, oh, there you go. And that glowing ore down there. I forget, you need a later game pickaxe for that, right? Yeah. 
Ooh, that looks juicy though. Up there. I finally have my copper gear. <clears throat> That's it. No more dying for any of us. Very clearly, we're OP now. Your defense? Say no more. Flesh well. Joke. I mean, I know. Copper armor's badass, but I guess I will have to give it up for meteor armor, if nothing else. Ooh, got some juicy copper here. Okay, so for full disclosure, we are yeah. mostly done with copper, but you're still going to want to mine it if it's easy enough to get to, because okay. it gets used in potions. Okay. But generally speaking, we, we aren't in a big pinch for copper anymore. Yeah. You do realize that there's a cart right there that you could have just attached to? Um, I realize right that click. now. <laughs> <laughs> I chose to do it the hard way. I'm working on my parkouring. <laughs> Damn, that's got me distracted. What do you want me to do? Okay. We're going to get up there. By the way, nice loading device. Ionic fence he has grappling hook. Oh, nice. I just knocked down your torch. No, that's right. Um, we got some mining we can get here, but I think this may be the end of the line. Uh, have you checked all the way to the right side? Or left side? Yeah, the left side is starts with the hell shaft. Oh, okay. shoot. There was another traveling worker. No. Nah. It was the same one that was there when we uh, went back this last time. Yeah. He had uh, nothing yeah. of note. Except for that summoning staff, which requires one platinum. If I remember right, it's a weak summon. Oh. Right. Okay. Getting a summon would be... Yeah, but it's one platinum. And it Good. looks like there's some more metal up to your left, along with the topaz to your right, yeah. Uh, Have topaz. you seen what uh, gems look like, uh, Crump? No, I, I don't. All okay, right, so over look here. to where Zionix is. Yeah, so, if you look around where I'm at, uh -huh. there's, there's rocks uh, that are kind of yellowy. Yeah. Those are, those are gems. Oh, that and topaz. so based on the color, you can tell what they are. So topaz is yellow, emeralds, green, diamonds, bluish. No, because there's also sapphires. Yeah, sapphires are bluish. Okay. But this is... Here, Darrow. Woo to woo. Um, go home. There's probably there's 14 topaz home. Then you guys can both get topaz grappling hooks. Ooh. Put that on your quick action bar, too. No, no. Yeah, that remember the button you have to press to get off the the cart. Yeah, G. Yeah, you just press that once you have it equipped. All right. Do you need something along with it? Oh, I was just in the wrong area. Nope. Just the. Uh... So, go to my left. Ding. Trump. Oh, I have it. Go. go to my left. Uh, there's your grappling hook, so just click on it. It will take it to a new equip screen on your right. It's the one on the very bottom. Uh, so you click on the grappling it hook. It's just, it looks like a yellow sort of whippy type thing. Uh, 
Let, let me full screen the stream, see if I can help that way. Open up your inventory. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's oh, open. Wow. Yeah, you're oh, at the, it it's the bottom middle-ish. Okay, so then it's, put it Bottom right here. over there, yeah. Bottom right, there we go. No, bottom. Cool. Now press your, gr or the thing that gets you off the cart. And now, unless you're a masochist, you should go to your settings and map it to one of your mouse buttons. If you have multiple <laughs> mouse buttons. No, oh, that's right, I don't have them on this one. Yeah, I have forward and back buttons on my mouse for um, web browsing. So my grappling hook is mapped to those. Gameplay that way. School mouse. Okay. Gameplay controls grapple. So instead of G, we're going to make it mouse 5. There we go. Yeah, so his... Trying to. How do, you, how do you release it without um, throwing Jump. it again? Jump. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, there's a bunny. You gonna massacre it? I was gonna spear it. <laughs> nice spear. He's hey, can I upgrade away. my weapon? I got a lead no. broadsword. What do we got here? Oh, that way. Yeah. Um. I mean, we do have platinum, so you could make a platinum weapon, theoretically. Is that worth it, though, or is platinum, we could save it for something else? I would recommend not using the platinum, because we want to make those into pickaxes first. Okay. What about silver? Um, yeah, there's no real push for silver. We'll probably just make that into, uh, um, armor once we get enough. Yeah. I mean, if we start hitting Dire Straits, then yeah, we're gonna use it for a bunch of other things, but as it stands... Well, since we're just playing on normal difficulty, we should be fine. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna make a silver barrage. Wait a minute. It has less damage. That happens. It's worse than the lead broadsword. Did you make Is a it... short sword? No, no, I'm just... I haven't made anything yet. The short sword is nine damage. The so the broadsword is eleven, and I have a lead broadsword that does twelve. It's Hover the over the lead broadsword. Yeah, your lead broadsword. So has the a... unpleasant lead. So yeah, you get plus nine percent damage and fifteen percent knockback. Right. So it's possible that when you make that uh, silver broadsword, that it yeah. comes out as legendary, in which case it's going to do more. But it's also possible it'll come out as shoddy, in which case it's gonna yeah you're gonna stick with the old one. Oh, yeah. okay. So, it, it's oh, a gamble. Oh, is good. It's a better lead broadsword than... If normal. it's green, then yeah. it's good. If it's red, yeah. then it's bad. So, okay. you're getting plus the damage and knockback. And for a broadsword, you want good knockback. Yeah, since you're not swinging very fast. I'm gonna hold off. I'm not gonna buy it. It doesn't seem worth it. You know, we want to get to the point where... Well, I guess we have to fight the brain before we start getting Meteor, right? Yeah. Well, and that's just it is... Uh, what size map are we playing on? Huge. So I don't know the smaller size map. <laughs> well, and that's where I'm thinking we could always do what you normally do, which is, you know, start hunting down some of those sky houses. Yeah. Um, that would be above us. Yeah. How do you even get up there? Rope. Rope. Ah, <laughs> oh, trusty rope. Yeah. But don't you... start in the middle unless we're gonna be starting doing like the sky bridge or something. It's you want to run. Oh wait a minute, we don't have a compass. No, we don't. Mm, I like this hunting ground. Come on, jump. 
jump. I'm right up here, just out of reach. Someone found a skelly. In the dark, underwater, just mining for my life. Yeah, it's it a... really makes you think. Yeah, it really makes you sit and reflect on your life. <laughs> How I found myself in this particular situation. Oh god. Yeah. Record scratch. Oh, that's a lot of friends I don't want to play with. Sneak attack by Skelly. Of course, and who's comes to the party? And a bat. Two bats. Three. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's why. Screw that skeleton statue. You know, more spawning for you. Mm -hmm. Down there. See anything worth a damn in there? Dang, these bats are quick. Yeah, I hate bats. Well, you can throw a glow stick down. That's cool. Yeah, except that means that you're now short that glow stick. I mean, obviously, right. it's part of the reason you to use them, but. There's not too many bodies of water, though, that you will continually need to keep going through, I guess. There's a lot of water, especially when you start playing in the ocean. Oh, yeah. The ocean. There is an ocean. With sharks. I didn't realize that skeleton was right there. Bashing my head in. have Golden all sorts funny. of friends down here. We want to capture those, don't we? Yeah, you want to catch the gold bunny. Too bad. I oh, wait a minute. I guess I could have. Damn it. Nets aren't too expensive. Well, that just is. I was like, well, don't get a bug net. I'll just kill it. Wait a minute. We can buy those. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's the only way. Oh, you got that, that golden net. I mean, I don't think you want to wait till you have a golden net, though. Ow. It's going to give me diminishing returns. We're done down here, Danny. I mean, done's a strong word. I think this area, for the most part, has been tapped out. Okay. Oh man, you're missing out. I'm getting so much dirt blocks. 
<laughs> High quality dirt. <laughs> Alright. Except I might just found us some diamonds too. Very nice. We now have enough sapphire. What is this? No. I lied. Well, sad that unlike our last game, we haven't had a blood moon yet, though. Sad dude. Uh, I'm sure it'll come. But if you'll excuse me for a moment, I have a sobriety problem. <laughs> He's too sober. Oh man, this grappling hook is unfair. <laughs> ah, wait till you get the later ones where you can shoot out four hooks at a time. What? That wrong. These bats are harassing me. That's what they do. Absolutely harassing me. Yeah, no, the thing is, is the. Like, you haven't even touched the surface of what's available in this game. Mm. Like, I know there keeps just being new things. Daryl found a new hole. Daryl is a new hole. <laughs> Got it, gotcha. You guys have to tell me how much did you tap out the caves on both sides? Um, so this track that you're standing next to, I've gone to end to end. Oh, been... I know that because I was here when you were doing it. Well, oh. no, that's not how that works. But I've also done most of the exploring. I mean, it was more the surface level ones. Yeah, shit. Uh, one, the one cave to the right, right before the, um, the crimson. Yeah. Um, that one, uh, I've explored a little bit. Not much, but it looks like you guys did that one. And then we have one cave to the left we've explored pretty decently. But that's about it. Yeah. I don't know the game well enough to know if, like when it's tapped out necessarily. Is well, there like a hit... good way to, good indication that it's pretty much exhausted? Um, experience for digging. one. <laughs> but uh, no, the thing is, is like, take a look at the areas you've explored. Now, obviously, you don't have the experience of saying, okay, I was thorough in that area. And uh, once you start running along the sides, every once in a while, you'll get a hint of, like, a vacant cavern area. And yeah. then, you know, if you see that, start digging. But if you start blind right. digging to one direction, I've done that a couple times. I've had, like, a 1% chance of finding things by blind digging. So it's better to dig with a purpose. Like, the hell shaft will open up many different avenues. And so right now it's probably going to be more beneficial to just go and work on the hell shaft. There's a jelly to our bottom right. Yep. 
So yeah, no, if you see that, then that's possibly gonna lead to a new opening. Might be just a small dead end, but yeah, dig to it and see what comes of it. On my way. Have fun. Ooh, another heart. Thank you. <laughs> Can you whacking the ground below him? It is floaty. <laughs> Got a heart. Who do you have? Got a wormhole potion. We still need the life crystal. We huh? all still need life crystals. Yeah. Whoop! Another one. Well, go ahead I mean, and like, just... who hasn't had one? Who oh, had one? lame. Everyone's had one. Just go ahead and use it. Okay. Oh, we're gonna be friendly and just even it out like that? I mean, I was. Because I, I figure it's more useful in your guys' hands anyway, but. Oh, and that's where I was thinking we might actually be giving it more into your hands just so you have a. Uh... Oh, live longer? Yeah. That's, fair. That's, fair. that's more what I was going for, was. Sure, give me all your yeah. health crystals, shit. I mean, I won't Black give you all of them. 90%? <laughs> Okay, I'll so I give you jelly. Sup. You were saying kill the jelly? Crump? Yeah, yeah. Got some glow sticks. Nice. So, like, we obviously don't need um, max health to take on the first bosses. But yeah. getting, you know... I don't know, 200 health before we fight the eye is probably a good idea. We're also going to need to get a ranged weapon. The eye. Yeah, the eye of Cthulhu is the, the first real challenge in this game. He's not too bad. We could already take it on, right? We can summon it. it. We would probably lose. <laughs> probably not going anywhere. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What? I, what? Uh, I triggered a boulder trap, and then I got hit by a bat. The bat knocked me out of the way and took a boulder to the dome and died. <laughs> Stupid bat. Who knew that bats were just could oh. be considered for that? I know. I mean, that bat's my hero. He just saved my life. <laughs> so what's everyone's life at then? Uh, um, 160. 120. Oh, okay. So Jordan gets this one then. I'm you should be more than 120. I've given you one before, and you just found one. You need, you need to eat your heart, Jordan. How do you use it? Put Go it in into your, your inventory, item bar. click it, and then click it, or move it outside your inventory and left-click it again. Boom! I'm at 160. Okay. So yeah, you were, yeah, two of them then. Yeah, I had two. Too. Some I, say I was at 140. I was gonna start feeling bad. Yeah, no, that happens sometimes. You get into a groove, you just get going, and you're like, oh, I have three hearts. Actually, no, I really don't understand that, but I'll pretend to. <laughs> I got a heart. I use the damn thing. Sometimes I've done better than others. Actually, no. I can think of maybe one time that that's happened. 
but that's because I was on a run where I literally found like three or four hearts in just a single go. Well, and like, um, another heart like that. Um, you but I was I'm thinking more of the down here. Sorry, what were we saying? Um, like if you happen to get a whole find a, a glowing mushroom biome. Those are typically true. quite healthy. Like they'll have, they usually have like two or three hearts in a mushroom biome. Okay. What do you mean uh, about night and day being kind of irrelevant down here? Yeah. Yeah. Unless there's a blood moon. Red. And it becomes relevant very fucking quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because blood moons heck? increase spawn rates no matter where you are. Okay. So it sounds disadvantageous to be down here then. Yep. Well, and there's some goodies you want to get. Or if you found the right biome, like the granite biome, so you could hopefully find a... I want to say Medusa, but it's not Medusa. It's a nymph? Well, the nymphs just show up in the underground. They can be anywhere. But the medusas do show up in the granite biome. Out of here, crawdad. I think medusas are both granite and marble. That's a heart. Nice. You know, this inner tube is nicer than I thought it would be. Taking your deep end test yet or no? Oh yeah, like you can you you float automatically, but like you can push down to swim down. Okay. So yeah, it's actually it's actually really nifty. That's big, big, big. I got an old miner. What that is? Yeah, they have a chance to drop mining hats, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Guess who got? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, if you got a mining hat, I'm gonna be jealous. That's three gold you just saved. Uh, I got Hermes boots. Oh. <laughs> Good find. <laughs> I hate you both. <laughs> Ooh, I just flooded the place. American explosive. As opposed to a normal explosive, you found an American explosive? I'm gonna say. I mean, got the good stuff right here. I don't recall there being a distinction in this game. E4, man. A really bad joke. That's right. You're allowed to make really bad jokes here. I'm not Just... gonna make it. <laughs> Just as long as you stay away from certain slang turns that piss off the hippies. Uh -huh. uh, it's gonna have to do with something about American explosives being Afghani explosives now. And that was. <laughs> I didn't land on the explosive on that one. I mean, <laughs> they are Afghani explosives now. They have several. <laughs> hmm. 
Kitty! Take me, Pinky. Rana? Get over here. Where do you want to go, Pinky? Oh, I ended up over near this um, glowing ore that we are going to need better gear for anyway than mine, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to mine a little, like, route to it. So I just got a, us a golden grasshopper. Nice. What is that? It's for fishing. Don't know if we're going to do that before we make the super fishing biome, though. Of course, we also have to be, to hit the ocean first. Yeah, the super fishing biome though is like that's it's not something we can actually do too early. No, that's end game or fairly late game. <laughs> How long were you falling? That is in the bottom right. For a second. The thing is, as well as falling, I misshot my grappling hook, and so it was slowly catching up to me while I was reaching the ground. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. Uh, boys, I either found the largest lake I've ever seen, or the ocean. Uh, you're underground? Um, it's, uh, you're, it's a large lake. you're, large. yeah, you're looking at a large lake. We are nowhere near close enough to the end of the world. Uh, uh your top left, is it right, like Jordan? A coast? You yeah. End up in the coast. No. What? Top left? Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, you went into that house, right? Yes. Okay, I just want to make I sure. I already that. looted it, yeah. Grab the chest with the pickaxe. This fairy isn't telling me anything. Alright, I guess you're just along for the ride then. Hmm? Well, this pink fairy is just following me around. It's not oh, actually yeah. telling me anything. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, no, I don't like this anymore. Touch, this is stop being touch. fun! <laughs> let me up, let me up, thank you. Woo. No way I just survived that. Beautiful. I'm out of here. I thought you had to do. Meanwhile, Darrow goes flying by. High speed, low drag. Take me to your leader, fairy. Where are we going here? Guess we're going down. Girl. Seriously? Yes! Nymph! To me, guys! To me! <laughs> She's kicking my ass! Wow, I actually did it! Did you get a metal I detector? You. Open your inventory. Did you get a metal detector? Uh, no. 
Okay. But I got a... What did you get? It was like a wormhole something. Wormhole potion? Well, the wormhole potion... That's what you used to teleport to me. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So what were you asking about the metal detector? What's that for? The okay. nymph has a rare drop called the metal detector. And okay. you need that for super rare... Well, not rare, but a very long process item called the cell phone. Sort of like your magic mirror, but it tells you everything about the game. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. On normal difficulty, I think there's only a 50-50 shot that she'll drop it. Looks like my fairy gave up on me and fucked off. Mm-hmm. It was not impressed with my shenanigans. Lazy, stupid human. Not understanding what I'm telling him. Cover about half of it. Rest gets deducted for the tombstone, I believe. Yeah, some of it gets deducted for the tombstone. Okay. We're firing a lot of paintings here. I got your three gold back, Jordan. Oh, cool. Thank you. That's a mining helmet right there. I think there's a tax involved. <laughs> I mean, I think I could give you your three gold for maybe a cloud in the bottom. <laughs> red pot used to make red dye. Yeah, we need to get a die maker before we can start making that stuff. I mean, most of the time, me and Buddha just kind of ignore it because it's vanity and... We're not vain at all. I mean, we are vain, but... <laughs> it's Ultimately, hard to get a cool... It's hard to look cool before you get endgame gear. Well, the thing is, is too, okay. most of the time... Uh, the, oh, shit. Not there. Um, there's a thing called a strange plant, and those give you cooler looking dyes thus far. So yeah, we usually don't mess with that stuff. Man, this place is full of silt. Right, so oh, no. Damn worms. Master branch. You know, didn't they actually make it to where you oh, could make a summoning staff early? Huh. Yeah, oh, there is. Fell on my head. What'd you just do? Right. Something fell on his head, uh, apparently. A zombie just fell down the entire shaft onto my head. Oh. In the game, something fell on your head. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that is one of the risks of the hell shaft. At least when you're making it. Um, once it's done, 
generally speaking, that doesn't happen because Everything, everything falls, falls at the same long. rate. <laughs> no, you don't. I think I saw some of your pieces fall. <laughs> I don't have a sponge yet, so... <laughs> no squeegee. Making three platinum pickaxes. Very nice. Nice. We're about to reach blind from this tunnel. We'll be moving slightly faster. But I appreciate your enthusiasm. They will all be in the ore box. Hmm. There's a lot of torches around here. Oh, these are okay. These are what we're setting down to hold stuff. Yeah. And then water chest. What's that? A chest that was submerged. Are you, are you, do we open it or? Well, if it's inside of a chest, stuff? it's already been cleared out because that's the only way you can collect them. Yeah. Okay. So, so what you can do now? Is, huh? It can be placed to store stuff. Just yeah. Regular stuff. Okay, so it's the same thing. It's just yeah. It's just, so it's like some of, of the it. chests that you've gone to, you open up, you take all the items out, you hit it with the pickaxe, and then it goes into yeah. your inventory. So Got yeah, it. those are those. Okay. Buddy. I ain't your buddy, Ooh, guy. I haven't to use my Hermes boots yet. Awesome. Running like the wind. Gessel has Ooh. two thumbs and just found a mushroom biome. Me? No. It looks like your These emerald both trees have are done. done. Okay, so where is I on? All the way to the right. I'll take the terrible pickaxe. The mushroom biomes are great for like Everything. platinum ore, for hearts, 
Plus you want glowing mushrooms to make super potions. Ooh, I get a fairy finally. Just all around a, a great place to be. And it's all mine. No, oh, no, we can mine Crim Tide Ore with um, the Platinum at least. Oh, okay. I mean, it's really the tissue sample that we want. So, uh, did you tell your, your girlfriend you're in another meeting, you know? I did, late yeah. Late night team building? I did. <laughs> Is he? I can't help with dinner. Team building. Give me a hint. Aren't you supposed to like fly to the side of the screen or something? So it's one of the useless fairies. I wonder if it's mine. The one who got Could bored. Came in about off. the same area. Gates. Yeah, there's a few things in the ice caves I wouldn't mind finding. Ice gates are is the only one I'm recalling. Uh, the frost sword. That's right. Need three of those. I don't think it's used for the. Ellington. Yeah, he's a merchant, a hidden merchant. He's supposed to sell something decent, but maybe that's late game. Did I leave, um, pink team? We're on yellow. Yeah, I'm on yellow. I'm just... Oh, torch. Oh, I guess you guys... Want your... oh, yeah, yeah, you guys must be too far away. I'm gonna say, I don't have the... The bond to let me know where, what general direction you're in. Being we're bonding over here. <laughs> Not getting the Wheel of Time reference? Uh, I don't think he's read the Wheel of Time. Yeah, in situations like this, I would use your grappling hook, dude. If you can't come down from above, at least. Grappling hook. No. no. That fairy's not doing anything, it's just uh, following you. Yeah, what the way these fairies work, supposedly. Oh, maybe it likes you now. It likes you now. So the way the fairy works is it's supposed to theoretically guide you towards something. A heart, a treasure right. chest, maybe even a rare enemy or two. House. But a house, yeah, that's right. So 
what you want to do is sort of explore until it gets excited or until it tells you know what? to fuck off like that. Wait, so is it on one of you? Because I think I realized what it was doing. Uh. Right below the mini map, it was telling you how many creatures, how many enemy creatures were nearby. No, that's that not yeah, that's not standard. That? No, it's oh, me. Okay. So. Can oh, you that's see right. How many enemies you... are nearby yeah, now? now I can see how many. Okay, now I stop can. real quick. Okay, the fairy disappeared as soon as you were went far enough away. So. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, no, I got myself a radar. It lets me know how many enemy units cool. are nearby. Very cool. Unless Alex is going to say he's done with the um, mushroom biome, I'm heading over there. Um, I don't think there's much else there, but... Oh. It takes us right to it. <laughs> the heart. And an extractor and a blood moon is rising. This should go better than last time. Uh, so yeah, port back uh, home. My goodness. Okay. We're gonna stay up here and kill things on the surface. Top priority, I believe, are the dribblers. They're flying sacks of eyes. Flying sacks of eyes, okay. They might drop something called the money trough. I believe it's them and not the blood zombies. Walk back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, sir. You definitely want that. I was half tempted to give it to Crumpin, but you have that stupid spear. And I'm pretty sure Crumpin's sword does more than that spear does. Are you telling me that 9 damage is not close to the absolute maximum damage that can be done by a weapon? Oh, that's what we need to do. Dig up the stupid uh, sunflowers. Okay. That's right, it's fucking with our spawn rate. Spawn rate. We want more enemies. Yes, yeah. we do. This is where we'd be real nice if we had a water candle. Yeah. Too bad, I think the only place. Oh, he killed the bride zombie. Got a wedding dress out of it. But yeah, no, especially since we're playing on the lower difficulties. I mean, the more we can kill, the better. More money, more items, and they drop some rare items. Typically money drops. Nah. But now we do need to get Crump in a proper weapon. That is true. What's your damage on your weapon, Crumpin? Ten? 
Um, well, plus nine percent damage though too, and fifteen not back. Well, that twelve will be a total. Yeah. So it's only six less damage than the one I have, and like five less than the one you have, Buddha. So I guess that's not terrible, but at this point, five damage is actually a pretty big deal. Yeah. I have a flotation device. Yeah, <laughs> me. Oh, the guy Cthulhu is flying around in the background. Does that mean he's gonna be here the next couple of days? Uh, no. I think that's just random. Like, I know the if you see the meteor fall, that that's an indicator that a meteor is coming. A meteor is coming tomorrow. But, um... I got a shark tooth necklace out of one. Nice. Oh, I want those black lenses from you, Mr. Eyeball. Oh, I thought that was a guaranteed trap from him. Armor shackle. Huh? You got an armor shackle. Oh. That should give you like plus three to your defense if you oh, don't die while looking dying, at dying, it. Dying. Oh. <laughs> cool. What did we learn? Not to ostrich in our in our inventory while we're getting <laughs> small. Uh, they don't want this jackal. It's a uh, armored shackle. I'll take plus it. Plus one. It's just plus one. No, it's a regular oh. shackle. I still take. I got an empty inventory slot or accessory slot. Yeah, I, I still need a shackle as well. Oh, both of you are over there. There's no point in me being over there. Here, got you, I got you. Oh. Beanie boy. Dang, I saw that 30. Critical hit. Yeah, I gave Buddha a new sword when this started. I found another bone sword. Nice. And I'm playing favorites. I'm sorry, Jordan. <laughs> I can see that. 50th demon. Oh, nice. It's a. Yeah, if you get a second, might not, or it wouldn't be bad to throw that up real quick. It doesn't matter where, just what have it? it up. Yeah. Demon Eye Banner. Oh, the Demon Eye Banner. Didn't realize I got a banner. Crimpin. Yo. Don't tell Buddha. <laughs> At this point, that I'm thinking that means money trough. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dang, imagine having under 200 hit points. You are now at 200 hit points. I gave him two life hearts. Got it. I gave you a sword, you know. I'm at 180, I can't complain. Uh-oh. All of a sudden I'm having flashbacks to when we were trying to hunt werewolves and we're getting like no love. So I got a bloody tear so we can summon another blood moon if the mood strikes us. Okay. 
feel like killing stuff. I feel like our spawn rate isn't very high, but... Yeah, I know, that's what I've been thinking. It might just be because there's three of us and we're murdering everything really, really fast. We do have two bone swords. Is that, like, pretty unusual for this time in the game? Yeah. Point. So that might be well, why. I mean, we will eventually... You eventually get good gear. You play long for enough, sure. you're going to get something nice. Um, it just for so this happens... stage of the game. Yeah, at this stage in the game, the bone sword is way good. Uh, I'm still thinking that we just have really low spawn rate. So to try to increase spawn rate, I straight up left the house and just fighting in the dark. That's probably a good idea. Out into the wilderness. Don't run away, dribblers. Don't run away. Bloodbath. Don't you run away. It's daytime. They're running away, man. Oh, we survived it. Survive the day. So does the game end if we all die at the same time? No. no we just... You know what? I'm going to turn this into my personalized arena area. Why don't you just went white on the... That's me. Oh, Jordan's... Messing with this stuff. Back, back, back. Yeah. No worries. I didn't mean to. I pressed. I pressed on my keyboard. So your your sword is twelve damage, right, Jordan? Yeah. Right. Um, this might be better. I don't know. Twelve damage, four percent crit, fast speed, average knockback. Um, it has the same exact stats as the one I have, except mine is buff because it's it's. It has plus 9% damage and 15% knockback. That's... So. Alright. Okay. Or should I... Just Wait, sell let it. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. Who do I sell it to? One of the merchants. Uh, either the guy yeah. with the hat or... Yeah, either guy with the hat. <laughs> okay. I think in all of this, <laughs> there's only one guy without a hat. Well... The guy doesn't have a hat, and well, I guess the nurse has a hat, but yeah. the nurse is a girl, so. I guess the nymph doesn't have, or not the nymph, the dryad doesn't have a hat. Okay. Um, I gotta take a leak, gentlemen. I'll be right back. It. Ooh, you can buy a forest pylon from this guy. Teleport to another pylon when two villagers are nearby. But Don't buy that yet. Or actually buy it oh. now, I guess, but it's gonna be just sitting there for a while. I'll hold on to it. That's eight gold. That's kind of a lot. Uh, I don't even have that much. Ooh, is it worth Probably buying a mining job. helmet? Mining helmets aren't bad. The biggest issue you're going to run into is it's going to break your defensive bonus. But yeah, I know it makes it to where going through, you know, mining and whatnot is going to be much easier since you don't have to worry about light sources. Ooh, pink. Stop. He's being crazy. Oh. I'll be right back. Right. Okay. Well, Buddha, just you. You're carrying the stream, right? Mm-hmm. Me and my creating a small arena area. Nah, I'm still kicking myself over this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Understandable. Hell, I'm now even just more frequently glancing over, but... 
Unlikely. But that's just it. Is now that we're checking, it's not gonna happen. Like. Yeah. Well, that's just it. Is it's one of those you think back to the thousand times where it's like, okay, I check, I check, stop watch, I check, I check. And it's like, okay, you know, it's been a while checking, no love, so. Oh. We're absolutely cruising through this game. I don't know if cruising is the. I'm back. The I feel like word. we're cruising. Look, I know I'm slowing you down, but to me, this is cruising. I wouldn't say you're slowing us down. I just wouldn't say we're cruising. <laughs> Jenny, you gotta take this dog away. No, he's, he's, he's loving me too much. Get out of here. He's raising Peter. Oh, wait. Do you need a chair next to the bottle? No. What am I doing wrong, guy? You need bottles of water. No, I'm just making, um... Oh. Oh. I'm converting. I need... Bottles to convert it into. Okay. So, anything good coming out of there? Not really. I mean, it's fairly spread out ore-wise. I'm just barely tapping into one gold, almost about to hit two. But yeah, I know the fact that it looks like there's no limitations uh, is obvious, so I'm getting gold ore, which for us is pointless. Yeah. Hey, Crumb, come over here. Jordan, come, come over. Come. All right, take these mushrooms. Stand, okay. Yeah, stand by this bottle. Yeah. Open your crafting, and you're looking for a big potion or healing potion. Big potion. Okay. Uh, should be on the left. Do you not have regular uh, healing potions? I have one healing potion here. In my oh, inventory. I guess you need another Wait. one. Okay, there's a second one. Now. Wait, okay, so go crafting. Let's see it. There should be a big potion in there. A big potion. Yeah, mushrooms. yeah. Screw it. Just throw uh, me all your just throw me all your regular potions and the mushrooms. I'll take care of it. Dog comes flying by. No, what? I just drank one. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Where are the mushrooms here? I don't the know where the mushrooms? other. I don't know where the other one. Yeah, the glowing mushrooms. Okay, there you go. Well, I didn't get the regular potion, but it's all right. I I drank what? Um, here. I actually drank what? There is some, uh, thank you. Ooh. And here's some glowing mushrooms, Dyro. Make your regular, your he good healing potions. <laughs> so, those are better Wait. potions than the small healing potions. Okay, those heal you 100. Doses? Hmm? Says healing potion eight. Oh, I have eight of them. Okay. There, you yeah. have eight of them. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. But instead cool, of being you. healed fifty hit points, you now get healed a hundred hit points. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, that's right. Wait. Better go place the sunflower again. So, from killing the zombie bride, I got this wedding dress and veil. Should I just sell it, or is there any other use for it? It's a uh, vanity item. It's a vanity <laughs> item. Like I have a I have a raincoat equipped right now and right. So put it to the left of your armor. 
Yeah, in that middle slot. Okay. And then you can, yep. Am I beautiful? You are pretty. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love that the okay. climbing yeah, claws are still poking song. out. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's an evil Watch bride out. right there. <laughs> Bridezilla. Damn straight. Yeah. Oh, and you could buy lesser healing potions from this guy. Yeah. So buy lesser healing healing potions, make better healing potions. Profit. Mm-hmm. Pop hat with the wedding dress kinda kinda nice. Maybe nothing on it. Yeah, we'll go bail. Alright. Making bars. Bars. Oil. Who wants iron armor? Oh, you can have it. I was going to say, Jordan? <laughs> uh, I'll take it. I'm not going to be a bridezilla about it, but... <laughs> <laughs> Let me clarify. We have enough lead for all three of us to get iron armor. Well, right. Why didn't you say so? I asked who wanted iron armor. I think the bride just talked to himself out of one. Yeah, I, I think I got to keep two of these to myself. I, I don't think you guys are very... Are very... Hey, I was offering it to Jordan first. <laughs> what, what was that? I miscounted. Wow. And now sell your, your copper. It's worth yeah, your yeah, copper man. should actually be worth something. Sweet. Damn, 12 defense. I feel like a boss now. Come here, Eugene. What? Hmm. The copper armor is only worth a couple silver and a bunch of copper. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's not surprising. It's too bad. I got my hopes up for some gold. Dirt wall, I'm gonna trash that. I don't really need that. No, you do not need dirt wall. Wall and star, I'm gonna put that. Does anyone want a top hat or can I sell it? I don't know. You want you have a vanity slot open, Buddha? Yeah, I think the I iron armor looks well, I'll take the I'll take it. I just won't be wearing it for a second because I think the armor okay. helm looks cool. It does look pretty cool. Here. Look like old school Cecil. Thank you. All right, so everyone has a platinum pickaxe, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. So I feel like we can give Jordan a platinum broadsword for 15 melee damage. Yes. Which will be comparable to the bone sword that we have. Well, yeah, but also, I mean, I, I'm okay with waiting if we think that we can find another good sword just on an expedition because I yeah I don't know I'm killing these monsters not with not too much difficulty but would it make sense to make platinum axes hey give that back Daryl you thieving here I am <laughs> looking at my uh, map <laughs> just give it the crap oh and it's godly too yeah oh, no that's what <laughs> <laughs> oh 
baby. What were the stats on it? Yeah, that oh, ask him. My goodness. What is the stats, Jordan? Where are you, Gene? Um, they are one sec. Seventeen melee damage, nine percent crit, very fast speed, average knockback, plus thirteen percent damage, f plus five percent crit, plus fifteen percent knockback. Pretty good. Yeah. That's... Pretty good. This is why I'm the one who makes equipment. <laughs> Thank you. Just because I got a sharp platinum pickaxe, not that plus fourteen percent damage count or <laughs> matters for. Not especially you now. Um. Yeah, the silver broadsword is nowhere near the platinum. I have to hop off pretty soon. Okay. That's fine. I got like 10 more minutes. I was going to say, to fly pretty soon. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, well. Well, now that I'm armored up and I got Hermes, I'm going to run directly left and go all the way to the coast because I don't think Zionx did that. Hey, you might make it one more room or another floor of rooms real quick, so if I do find him, he doesn't. Or, no, I think yeah. we have to have room. Yeah. Yeah. I'll help you. Pickaxe madness. Oh my gosh, this pickaxe really doesn't work on dirt. Yeah. No, the platinum pickaxe is really good. I think tungsten is technically better, but. Just equivalent. I, I think one of them is I, I, like all the ores, like they're pretty close, but um, like there's always a better one. Like, I think copper is better than tin. Um, I believe uh, lead is better than iron, gold is better than silver. Then, gold is better than silver, better than tungsten, nothing. Well, tungsten Meteorite? compares with platinum. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Because the way it works is there's ultimately two metal sets based on the world you're in. So we're not going to naturally find tin, uh, the other ones, tin, iron, uh, gold, and tungsten on this world. The only reason we got that is because I used the silk on the extractor, and it gives you a bunch of random stuff along the way. Oh, okay. All right. Um, you want to make uh six doors, four tables, and eight chairs. Yeah. Hello, crimson to the left. Six doors, four tables. Doing this in the dark is going to be fun. Are there higher quality doors we can put that like certain monsters can't get through anymore? That no. could get through wooden doors, or no? Okay. Doors are doors, unfortunately. Doors Most doors. monsters actually... Oops, yeah, that sucks. Most monsters actually can't get through doors. They only get that ability during a blood moon. Gotcha. Okay. No, you can set them up. Just set them up just like uh, the floor above. No, I didn't mean to do that. I just right-clicked it, so I chucked it. Mm. Instead of setting it up. Yeah, just mirror the floor above, and everything yeah. should be yeah. fine. You just yeah. need to say with how OCD he is, you want him to do the work so he doesn't complain <laughs> later. The chairs aren't perfectly aligned. The table isn't centered. Why is your candle one pixel off? I'm pretty sure oh, Buddha just does that to piss me off, but he's not Turns wrong. <laughs> I 
I didn't know you were so uh, peculiar about your interior design. You know what? Everyone needs a hobby. Three chests. Another spear. Why are they facing the wrong way? Because you were... Radar. You're aiming the wrong way. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no, I the... can mine this chair back, right? Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Magic wand. All right. Now let's go ahead and get the candles um, in place. I'll get the. Just match the placement above yep. is all. Yep. Romantic candlelit dinners for everybody. It is important for their happiness. Oh, yeah. And Unfortunately, they're going to get quite upset with us as soon as more people move in because they hate neighbors. Overcrowding. I want to live where it's cold. I want to live where I got a view. Bitch, I bought you a house. Now, the one thing that is... Um, it's... It's sort of cool because if you put everyone into um, biomes where they're happy, um, yeah. you can get these teleporters that transport you around the fucking map. They're super yeah. useful. What? He tried to buy the jungle. Yeah, okay, but how do you know what's going to make them happy or not? Or... You look it up. The internet. <laughs> I mean, you can it's use the beast theory in this, but. Yeah. Yeah, you, you just look it up on the internet, really. Gotcha. Alright, well, our second basement is looking good. Yeah, um... Suitable, 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 suitable. They are all suitable. Woohoo, my stepping stool. And since you're here, I'm going to go ahead and show you why I generally make Buddha go out and farm sand for me. Oh, that's right. You don't need that glass glazer or whatever. You just need the furnace. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm replacing the back wall with glass. It looks very, very cool. And I don't want to hear say, any... I, you know what? I like it, but I gotta say, I think my chandelier really ties the place together. <laughs> <clears throat> I like your I like an all-way aesthetic, so I leave it to other people. I build big boxes. 
I'm on stand. Big build big boxes. Damn straight. Fit everyone into it. Eh, eh. I don't suppose you've ever uh, gone through the expand series. No. So it, Wait, it, it's a minor. What, huh? Is that what you were playing a couple days ago on stream? Carl? No. Uh, what am what I thinking were... of? What? Remnant or Civ? Yeah, it was Remnant from the Ashes. Remnant. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. What's no, expand? It, uh, it's a sci-fi book series turned into a TV show that I never, uh, never watched. Oh, um, okay. And what happens is one of the characters starts complaining about the aesthetics of the future. Because when you're traveling through space, no resistance and whatnot. Ultimately, yeah. what they made were big moving uh, apartment buildings or business complexes because you don't have to worry about resistance. So it's pretty much a big... 3D re or rectangle or rectangle, uh -huh. and that's all that stuff is. And honestly, you know, what? nothing wrong with that. That's how I would do it too. Hey, practicality is good sometimes. It is. Ooh. There's nothing wrong with practical. Um, There's also nothing. I'm wrong. supposed to let the Goblin Scout get away, right? Yeah. Goodbye, Goblin what? Scout. Well. Shit might get interesting, Crumpin. Hey. Is he going to run and tell his goblin goons that we're here? Hopefully. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and if he does, in fact, do that... I don't know about this. Oh, yeah, I'm no. not sure not if they... I don't know about this look anymore. I don't know about this look anymore. What? The chests are uneven. Mm. We're gonna have to do some some rearranging. Tear it apart. Redesign everything. We do not tolerate such things. The chests balance out on the other side. You do chests on the right, and um, crafting stations on the left. If you continue the chests all the way to the end, it balances. Yeah. Zoologist. Okay. So I can prove this. We're gonna have to move this extractor. Yes. Yeah, we're you can move it. Definitely gonna have to move the extractor. I'll just pick and that up. And finally, the beach and the angler. Morning. Did you Class. scooch over a little? There we go. Yeah. Oh god damn it! I got a full inventory, so I can't pick that shit up. But yeah, um, it it evens out. Dang, Daryl came in looking like a boss. That's um, just the regular yeah. armor. That's the armor, right? Yeah, that's just the. You don't have any armor. vanity things on. Wow. No, cool. no vanity. Sweet. Uh, we got an accessories box. Okay, so yes, there's the radar. Right, so I gotta hop off here. Stand real. All right. Um, have oh, a good one, man. Yeah. I yeah, hope you enjoyed. You too. It was awesome. Let's get back into it soon. Will do. All right. Take it easy, have gentlemen. Good night. Good night, man. You too. As we spend the next 10, 20 minutes organizing. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the important thing to do on stream. I was going to say, why do I all of a sudden feel like donut? So I found t five chests in my venture. Whoopsie. Well, I mean, unless they're gold or brown, I don't care. They're brown. <gasps> brown chests! That is the exact number we needed. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> Guess random torches will go into furniture. Why did oh, there it is. furniture torch. works good? Instant torch. Rash shackle, two percent. Ah, that's 
right. I now have a second weapon. Fear. Fear. <laughs> that one's actually using mana. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess you want to switch back to our other world? Sure, I can take some more punishment for a little while. Wait, 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 wait. There's a dribbler stuck down here. Yeah. He's been there for a minute, poor guy. I released him. You can now go join your friends wherever they go. Care about clay. No, dump clay. Grenades. Okay, that's everything on my head. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing, I just switched back to the regular terraria of you and your things all skeddywampus, but I suppose that makes sense considering um, we were doing the double stream thing. Okay, uh, go yeah. ahead and log out. No need to break the stream. We're still at least playing Terraria. Yeah, I don't think we need to break the stream. Um, but hang on, let me hop over to Discord real quick. Stop watching your stream. Watch stream pop out. And okay, that's better. All right, I had to. Yeah, it, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Um. So title is going back to um. Uh. More. For the worthy. Pain ensue or continues. All right, there we go. I've changed our title. Grab Virginia. And where's Bunny Blaster? Bunny Blaster. Oh, Bunny Bombs. There it is. All right. And start. And game's up. Ugh. How do we only have one box? Like, seriously, this seems fucking absurd. Because <laughs> we haven't done enough surface looking because I kept getting wrecked every time. So let's tag team going to the left since I already have most of that explored out. Okay. <laughs> I miss my Hermes. Huh. I'm going the same speed as I was before. God, it sucks being slow. That's a mobility reference. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is mean again. I can't take tank hits anymore. Oh, sandstorm. That's not ideal. down yet again you got a uh, evil tumbleweed coming towards you I am under no illusion that I can get through the fucking sandstorm by myself 
Yeah, we should probably just head to the right then. Sandstorms last for a while. They do. Oh, I don't. Oh, that's right. We did have one sunflower. We had, we have glowing mushrooms. Mm hmm Do we have a jar? We need a jar. Oh, with the jar. We have sand. Okay, okay, we're good. All right. As we say, we just need sand in the furnace. And I definitely got sand during some my uh, escapades. Bunch of glass. Make a glass bottle. Place a glass bottle. Make some big boy healing potions. And give you the mushrooms. All right. That should help. Having a real Goram potion should help. Why do we have chain? Did you find chain? No, I made some chain. I found a grappling hook head, so I just decided to make it that way. Oh, okay. Oh, you got a fish hook. Well, whatever hook it is. So you got a grappling hook right now. That's good. Let's go ahead and sort this real quick since there was some uh Oh no, I think I think platinum is better than tungsten. I believe so. Yeah. Uh, I'll double check this real quick. Hi, right, Walter. No, you're the wrong person. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Andrew. All right, so. Yeah, okay. So, platinum is best. So, it was platinum versus um, gold. Tungsten versus uh, silver, iron, uh, iron versus lead, and then copper versus bronze. Ten. We desperately need another go around box. Tight. Well, I was gonna go down to um, the the biome of pain and suffering since it was still nighttime. Maybe now that we're fresh, we might be able to pull it off. down there that I really, really want. And now that we're, I guess, warmed up. Oh, shit. Don't die. Uh, I, hold up. Yeah, I'm gonna stay near the healing. Uh, 
Alright, technically I would have survived without using that potion, but... Huh. Look what happens when you exercise a little bit of logic and reason. <laughs> now we're all good. The number of times I have fallen into that fucking lava pit... I, 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 don't, I don't care to admit it. Yeah, I think I've only... Well, you've gone down here much more than me. But I think I'm at like two or three and it's just like, no, I'm sick of it. If well, only we had a world we could go to for lava charms. If only. Well, now we can't do anything about them. Oh, except that. That works. Okay. Done. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's right. It's a grave. Well, up a little bit is a grave. Careful of pots. That's right. Oh, that scared me. Move forward and poke. Move forward and poke. Too far to the right, and I went off the screen. <laughs> uh, I hate my life. I gotta go pee. I'll be right back. Glass is empty. What's empty? My glass. Oh. Mm. Swear to God, those goddamn chests. Better hold motherfucking Terra Prismas or some shit. Oh, uh, join pink team. Not that I have any wormhole potions, but. Bats. 
Packs. Oh, Telemannus. It's pink. Packs. that I keep doing that is sort of worrying to me. Um, taking my cursor off screen. Start moving, dude, or else they're... Yeah, I would like to kill all those slimes, but that's a death trap for us right now. And we got a higher goal. Yeah, we have a more important hit to do. Stay here by the cozy fire for a second. Seems to be safe. There's another cozy fire. Damn it. We are gonna get this motherfucking treasure chest. Why is there a ghost? I broke a, a grave. Black slime in there. Let's see him. Within range of the cozy fire. That was the only one I had. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, let's. I'm gonna try and drain the swamp a little bit.
I'm just trying to fix this uh, water problem we have. Yeah, I see what you're doing. And see, Dealing... this is where I'm torn, because just having that little bit of water slows down the enemies, except for the slimes. But I guess if we can negate the stupid piranhas... safe way to drain the swamp. Wow, that's a lot of water. Yeah, no, it's uh Okay, that should be good. So there's just a little bit of water it might slow them down, but it should make it to where the fish aren't mobile anymore. Trying to get the right angle where we can actually hurt these fuckers is tricky. I think it's because we have to step forward to the danger zone. Seal it up while they're down there. Those are the dangerous ones. I'm not worried about these guys. blocks available um i do build a wall up so around the chest so we can just uh take our time or at least a little bit of time Fuck, select line i'm down i just looted Chess, so hopefully I got something. Yeah, no, I was thinking build a wall up on one side, build a wall up on the other side, then we could loot, grab the card, and hopefully the chess. Red potion, consumable only for the worthy. Wormhole potion. One and one, I suppose. Well, good sir, we have a choice. Uh. Armored cloud in a bottle, jagged Hermes boots. I'll take the Hermes boots if that's an option. Thank you. I want the armored cloud in a bottle just for the fucking defense. Heading towards nighttime again. Let me put 
spell potion, not Kermit's boots. Blood, dump you. Night time, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some trees. I need more wood, anyways. That's right, Vulture can't keep up with the Hermes. <laughs> I will find out what's on the other side of this bitch. to the right is immediately crimson. to deal with that. times where I'm, you know, one of those soft cheats. Go grab us a, a, some more sunflowers. <sighs> Alright, so God, that is a big mushroom biome and it is lit right below us. Of course, I suppose the only thing there really of note anymore is um, the the, heart. the hearts. Well, it's nighttime. It's dangerous. We could get some. Well, do we have rope? I have some rope. Oh, I got a hundred two rope. Okay. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, you diggy. Home, or are you just planning to dig until you die? I have a recall potion. But I'll probably just dig until I die. Huh? Just making sure that was the plan. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. You know, Come on, you know the words, Buddha. Yeah, that was actually one of the discussions that I had with uh, uh, the chicks at work. It's like, does a song like that constitute a video game song? And I argue, no. I mean, it was inspired by, which I'm totally fine with, but it is not a video game song. 
No, it is not a song played in a video game. Ah, so we'd get a die this way. Ooh, box. See that bomb. Dump it down the right. Well, the right has water, um, pools already. So if we just do this. Make some friends? Uh, jar. All that work we did to drain the swamp and we just filled it up. <laughs> this shouldn't affect the health shop though. And we're hell shafting back down into that, uh, um, the, the mushroom biome, yeah. So the old path is meaningless. So, Pax, how do you feel about Derek? <laughs> Kicked me in the nuts a couple dozen times. Was not very pleased with the guy. <laughs> but apparently, he is a good leader. I support Darrow. Fox! How are your balls? <laughs> <laughs> you really shouldn't antagonize Pax. He's not very happy with you right now. Belly buddy. And that's sort of what I was scared about. Uh, that was um, only a matter of time. What am I doing? That's not gonna work. And we can't go through obsidian. Obsidian takes like meteorite or hell pack. Well, all right then. I guess that's as far as we're gonna go with the hell shaft. 
At least for now. Have you already explored to the right of here? Um, there is writing down that I haven't done yet. I guess let's do that. Ah, uh, if there's one thing you say about Virginia, she knows how to take a punch. She does. She also knows how to hold her breath. Mm. <laughs> I wow. Was, I, I thought was that was a like shock gas, like, I can't believe my guts! Amir. Of course it would be hilarious if you're carried Oh, that's two bombs. That would be hysterical if the female was the one who first went to get the mirror. Vanity, thy name is gold. Well, you're going to have to get that, Mr. I have a grappling hook. What am I getting it? Uh, there's some, uh, mats, or some ore stuck in a wall. If you follow me down, you'll see it. to drown yourself that's a different question entirely um hmm. Isn't that mithril? no that's leaking yeah no mithril is a uh, hard motor but i just found a big old fucking vein of tungsten Zionics like you, Dunstan. Going back on the self hatred train, like, that's the third time we missed a chat message. That could have been three goddamn followers, you know? Three fucking CYKs, you know? No, and that's just it. It's like you were ta or we were talking about earlier. It's the whole we check fairly frequently when we're playing, but then all of a sudden it's like, okay, yeah, nobody's really gonna be. Well, we just get absorbed into something, and it is what it, it is. What it is, you know. It's like. I'll oh, see the truly annoying, and embarrassing thing about it is the fact that. We were dying enough that we had enough time to go look over a chat, but... But we didn't. Uh. Yeah, we had plenty of fucking time. And oh, that, he, he saw that too, time. which, you know, that makes total sense why he'd be pissed at us for that. Like, uh. well, you, you fuckers keep dying, going back to fucking camp, you can't look over at chat. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know, it's like... I get it. I, I totally understand why. I mean, we we deserved that particular tongue lashing. Mm -hmm. Come on, guy. We're new at this. <laughs> we we still suck. <laughs> to come down to get. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, you're doing that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going yeah, no, to Yeah, no, I was just rope. above you and I was collecting sand and it's like, oh, tungsten. Sweet.
Might just go up. Wait for those guys to despawn. I got a heart. I got one of the hearts. You got a snaky thing sort of coming down. But I guess he thinks I'm sexy. I am Pax. Pax all oh, tell him on us. Kid's name. <laughs> hey, I am Bob. What's up? Actually, it was Pax. <laughs> uh, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, thanks for joining us. Ah, uh, come on! You don't <laughs> love dying repeatedly to the most insignificant of enemies. <laughs> I mean, if that just isn't, you know, like, orgasmic levels of fun, I just don't know who you are. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to suffer over and over again. But we finally have boxes now, so we can store our stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know, getting repeatedly wrecked by some of the most simplest enemies. Like, I think I've died a couple dozen times now, just based on vultures alone. <laughs> Yeah, Buddha's under exaggerating. He's done a lot of those kinds of vultures. I said a couple of dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Damn mother slime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me too, man. Me too. <laughs> See, this is why communities like this are important, so we could share our pain and then let go. <laughs> We cry ourselves to sleep at night. That's what happens. <laughs> so what are you up to tonight, man? Obviously, other than, you know, trolling Twitch. Laughing at other people's pain, I'm assuming. <laughs> God damn it. I don't think we have an Eye of Cthulhu yet. What's your, what's your, what's your health at, Buddha? Uh, 140. Oh, All right. You need those. All right. Thank you. No, we're still early. For this particular map, we are literally two hours in at most. Yeah, we're not very far. And we started earlier today is all. And we're just... Uh... I love the drunk seed. The drunk seed is... I, just having both evil biomes in the same seed, I think, is actually really cool. So, I, I actually really, really like the drunk seed. Well, see, someone here, you know, one of us, all of a sudden decided, hey, we want to play on harder maps, and I actually had to talk him to, I mean, somebody had to talk somebody down from doing this on Elite. <laughs> so, Ma Ma Master our mode. expert. <laughs> so, this is just classic. We're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> I would have cried myself to sleep already if this was <laughs> expert. Dear God, I would have. <laughs> yeah, you, you can get stuff from fishing. We know that. It's just... It's not very exciting to fish. But... <laughs> I'm just curious about the efficiency of it. But then again, with how... With fresh characters? Character, if you play solo... <laughs> I'm assuming that, that capitalizes <laughs> sarcasm though because that terrifies me already <laughs> yeah that, that's about the amount of damage Augusta Wind does <laughs> and that's with the Nova armor Jesus <laughs> alright I think we can upgrade uh, Iron Eye <laughs> 
Thanks for the follow, man. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Still can't believe you chose that, dude. <laughs> that is the best follow notification ever. I don't care. <laughs> As you see the follower count drop by one. Yeah, if he unfollows, if you unfollow and refollow, I'm not sure if it'll play again. It might. If it does, that's fucking cool. <laughs> okay. So you say yeah. you think we have enough iron? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that bunny will kill me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we have 94 iron. So um, let's see. We got. Uh, so that's 20, 25, so 40, 60, eh, no, we don't have enough iron. We have enough for one of us. Ah, go for it. All right. You apparently are doing better, but maybe it's just because I keep going to try playing that goddamn desert. Hmm, I didn't. I haven't considered uh, catching them. Catching what? Uh, the exploding bunnies. Um, you, you, I am about saying huh. you catch them and you use them against bosses. Um, I mean, thanks for the tip, man. I, I didn't even consider that. This is literally the first time we played the for the worthy seat, so we're yeah. experiencing this all for the first time. And fresh, because we're not looking up other people's strats, but I mean, thank you. We need it. We fucking need it. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. What am I doing? I mean, we've been playing Terraria for a long time. Um, there is a random chance, uh, that, the uh, I think Cthulhu... he's trying to curse us, actually. Yeah, <laughs> it might be. <laughs> but yeah, no, there's a I random chance that that ever. guy can spawn naturally. Uh, it, it's been around for a while. For as long as I've played this game, um, the I Cthulhu boss can spawn. I, I, you have to do something, but it's not very hard, like... Well, and that's where I get torn. I think it's either based on the amount of days, like you get five or six safe days, but I think it's based off health. Like once somebody hits 200 HP, then it becomes a spawnable, yeah. or randomly spawnable. That's what I'm about saying. It's uh, over 200 life and 10 defense. So, Thank you. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think you're right. Uh, that sounds about right. Is it daytime or nighttime? Uh, I forget. Unfortunately, we uh, haven't been able to find mirrors yet, so we're relegated to dying to move. Okay, I'm going for another stab at stupidity. We're going to conquer the desert and whatever right. the fuck is beyond it. Uh, we can't mine obsidian yet. Don't I mean, you need, like, Molten or a Meteor for that? I think you need a Meteor pickaxe before you can mine Obsidian. It might be... I always get torn between uh, Meteor and Molten. Well, Molten takes uh, Hellstone and Obsidian, so you have to be able to mine Obsidian. Um, so we can mine Meteor. I, I think we need a... I... No, you're right. It's... Um... It's what you get from breeding the brain or the um, or the eater of worlds. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, if you want to see the absolute fun of how badly we were doing, you need to check out. Uh... <laughs> oh shit! Fuck me, running. You need to check out our uh, vod from earlier. I think it's only about an hour and a half long. Yeah, we, we turned yeah. our own house into a graveyard because of a blood moon. <laughs> that did not work out well. In fact, uh, we didn't even know it was daytime.
because of how many <laughs> gravestones we had in our house. You know what? I say we don't fight near the house. I'm not sure where the fuck else we're gonna fight instead of chance. I don't know. I just don't want them going in the house. Or at least delay it. I think I'm comfortable with this. <laughs> and in they go. So do we... Okay, I'm going with the original strategy. <laughs> Sorry, merchant. You're dead. Or actually, yeah, come in here. I might be able to keep you alive for 30 seconds. Eh. It, the short sword can hit faster. It does a little bit better at keeping it away from us. With the For the Worthy yeah. stuff, these things hit quite yep. a bit harder than um, we're used to. And well, the knockback just, uh, from the broadsword's not very good right now. Well, the knockback is one thing, but it's also just the rapid fire hit with... And it's directional, so the fact that we can aim just a little bit higher can help prevent some of the, our issues. Alright, let's take care of these uh, gravestones before they become a problem. They, they do, but it's the rapid fire attacks, I believe, that... Uh, sort of like accumulated knockback and the fact that I can walk backwards while still attacking yeah. makes it to where I think it's more viable well thus far that's how <laughs> <Boogie ghost. laughs> and honestly it might only partially work because there's two of us so when we align up properly yeah see this this pokey stick of death right here um yeah not off the top of my head, but when I have them, I use them. Uh, it increases attack, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it's one of the better early game um, accessories you can get. I don't think I don't know, either one of us has good. gotten one uh, yet. He says no, nope, we're wrong. Is it attack speed? What does it, might it, be do? crit, it might be crit chance. Um, oh, okay. There you go. Oh. That, yeah, That's mean. right, yeah. So in this particular situation, the shark tube necklace would be good to have. You're right, you're right. Yeah. So, hopefully we can get one here tonight. Right now I'm still hoping for a money trough. Yeah, uh, that also be nice to have. Pokey, pokey. We have discovered the secret for staying alive. It's... Opening the door and stabbing the trick-or-treaters in the face. <laughs> you are now welcome. Oh yeah, we've done we've done blood moon fishing before on other maps. Um, getting that what the hell was it called? That one critter that uh, he's mean. He he's really fucking mean. I think it was just like bloodfish or something. But yeah. Yeah. Like a mini Duke fish rom that. Hates humans and murders everything he sees. And that's different from Fish on How? He's smaller and red. No, I'm sad. I can't make a refill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dread Nautilus. That's it. That's right. One of us gets to dress up like a pretty bride after this. Well, you're Virginia, I'll let you have it. <laughs> but I have to give up my top hat. I'm not sure I want to do that. No, the, the only thing that's really bad about this is the, the, the dribblers aren't getting down here. So we're not going to... Because I believe it's the dribblers that drop the money drop. I believe so too. And there's two dribblers that get down. Oh, he oh, that's the one you get from the ocean, right? Uh, blood is fishing during a blood moon in the ocean for the hemoglobin shark, I think. I was gonna say there's one for the ocean, one for lakes, I believe. Well, yeah, there, well, there's one that's underground. I think the one that was underground was the. 
Yeah, but there's some bones. So they both they both drop it. Thanks. You're right. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm sure this is riveting watching us constantly stab out the door. <laughs> Sort of like the purge. <laughs> These things are scary. <laughs> we will not turn our house into a graveyard again. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know that. I, I, we haven't done a whole lot of uh, Blood Moon fishing. Usually that was end of game stuff when we were, you know, rockets are pretty beefy gear. Phone. Yeah. Well, we usually go for cell phone before end of game. Because when it, when there's the blood moon, you usually stop fishing. Well, I would usually stop fishing and go home. Um, and, yeah. Sanguine staff and blood thorn. I'm drawing a blank on what those are. Well, usually in that CSA is because we're near the end, we usually have some, like, endgame magic and summoning staves. Yeah. Hooray, our 100th zombie. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Single staff, okay. Yes, I love summon weapons. Hey Buddha, why don't you uh, tell the story about when you accidentally trashed a Terra Prisma? Ah <laughs> uh, yes, good times. I don't remember what I had in my inventory, but I like, I, or, oh, that's what it was. So I pressed Shift, and I was just left clicking, and there it goes a. I believe it was even a Mystic. Yeah. That was not a happy night. <laughs> Yeah, we were, um, uh, Buddha was clearing his inventory, just trashing a bunch of, or, no. He thought he was boxing things, but instead of, he was holding alt or control instead of. I was holding of, control, which automatically sh or throws everything, or whatever you click, yeah. into a dumpster or into the trash. And, and I didn't notice until, like, three clicks later, and it's just, that was in me a couple. Yeah, there, 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 there goes the fucking good. terror prisma, just right into the dumpster. <laughs> of course, we at that point, we'd already beaten our, uh, the Empress of Light twice. So it wasn't, like, a horrible thing. Like, we knew we could do it, but it was just like, well, fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that was early on, too, if I remember. It was close to the first time I was trying to get it. So we were, you know, we were doing good during daytime, too, So because we wanted that 100% drop rate. So Yeah, well, you, you have to rate. do it and during the day, 100% damage during the day. So that, that's how you get it. And it's a hundred percent drop. But she's obviously in complete psycho mode the entire time, and everything is a one-hit kill. So you have to be mobile, very, very mobile. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what? I do love the slime, the slime staff. Um, my understanding about the slime staff is uh, it was actually invented in Calamity, and. Uh, the developers liked it just as, like, it's like, you start with it in Calamity, I think it was. And, uh, oh, get, get back here! Hi, Jumper. Wait. Oh, hey, hang on. Sorry, uh, I'm having a... Get back here, blood zombie! We want to, we want your juju beans. <laughs> but yeah, I believe the slime staff was um, added in Calamity for the very first time, and then the developers uh, saw saw it, found you know, thought it was cool, and they added it into the the base game. But I re believe it was originally introduced in the Calamity mod in uh, one three five. I'm just annoyed because in the Calamity mod, you get to start it. Yeah, you start with it in the Calamity mod, and that that's, that is one of the better summon weapons. 
You know, but I'll I think take the, the 2v1. We took on an entire horde that night. You saw us. <laughs> but yeah, no, the... I, I think the slimes have like a... Oh, what is it? Like a 1 in 2 million chance of dropping it? Like, it yeah. is like stupid rare to get it. Especially with all the slimes we kill. Yeah, especially early on in the game. Um, and, and, and a lot of the summons can work as money farms. Just put yourself in a box where you're safe and... You know, let your summons go to town. Hmm, the nurse is here. I see you died in that hole. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is now the furthest I've ever gotten after dying dozens and dozens of times. Then all you had to do is ask your friend for help. Right, you're busy finding the mushroom biome. <laughs> I think it's a fair exchange. Kinda. Oh, that mushroom biome is a son of a bitch. Still a seven of it, son of a bitch. We haven't cleared that thing yet. Oh, that's right. Oh, jungle. Okay. This couldn't possibly end poorly. Ah, come on. Jungle bats are friendly creatures. Discord once. Yeah, I think we made it. I don't know if we used it. No, you though. don't. It, you don't make it. You drop it, or you, they drop it. I forget what drops it, but we did get one. I don't remember if we were farming for it just because we were going psycho completionist, or if it was a happenstance drop. I have it on my transfer world. That's all I know. Yeah, Buddha has quite the. Extensive transfer world, which you know it, it has come in handy multiple times. Because every once in a while, we'll be trying to I don't know build a cell phone or some shit, and it'll be a matter of we are miss. Okay, I guess I'm going home. Um, I'm done on this end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you forsaken me? You're on your own, Pax. <laughs> I'm so pretty. Ha <laughs> 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 Ah! I didn't see that one. <laughs> hmm, I guess this is as good a spot as any to start storing vanity. I remember right, the uh, uh, Sprout of Discord, that was a uh, teleportation rod, right? Mm. I don't remember exactly what it was. Right. But yeah, um, no, I just remember. Yeah, he, yeah. So, it, yeah, no, it's one of those, like he's saying, it's one of the more uber rare drops. Like I said, I don't remember if we were farming for it, because we were doing research and it's like, oh, this is uber rare, let's go for it. Or if it was... We were just farming that area for maybe uh, one of the enemy drops and... Alright, um, I'm gonna take a leak and I'm gonna make you primary. I'll be right back. Just as I was about to go take a leak. Good times. <laughs> See if I get... Eh. Yeah, no, right now we're in a bit of a tight spot because directly to our right, like, not that it far 
of a distance away is a crimson biome. And we're still pretty low on ores. Our hell shaft ran straight into part of our exploration area. So that's not a happy place. Sorry, I was making a quick refill. Okay. Massacre number 478. My cup is full, my bladder is empty, I am ready to go. And you're way the fuck over there. Yeah, I was gonna say, I just decided to keep going left, because our other option is to go play in the land of redness. Okay, um... It looks like we have enough uh, platinum to make a platinum pickaxe. Is 59% strong enough to mine obsidian? I forget. I think you have to be over 60. Alright, let, let me look it up real quick. Obsidian. 65% to mine obsidian. So we need to... We're going to have to beat the second boss before we can mine the obsidian. Oh, shit. There's an explosive bunny in the house. Don't look at it sideways. <laughs> He's moving towards me. For love of Walter. No, oh, Walter, give me a net. <laughs> All right, I caught it. <laughs> I, 350 damage for use with the bunny cam and cannon. <laughs> Where the fuck did we get a bunny cam? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I feel like that weapon's gonna be fucking OP. <laughs> All of a sudden, makes me want to pet the exploding bunnies. <laughs> The bunny went into the soup can. <laughs> All right, can I eat the bunny? I can release the bunny. I can't eat the bunny. I tried. I'm. I I'm sorry, man. Mm. I don't actually need that net around all the time, so. Oh, Just hard think mode. what that bunny would do to your insides. Well, I guess that makes sense considering the the fact that <laughs> it does 350 damage a pop. Come on, all the bosses have double the HP. Oh, okay. Hopefully I remember that when I have a pirate and a party girl. Alright, how's your stack of regular healing potions looking? 
I'm at eight. Oh, you mean the lesser ones? I'm at zero there. You can buy them. But I'm poor. <laughs> yeah, we're both poor. We know that. <laughs> Should have. All right, let's see if we can't get somewhere new, shall we? Dabbing. Uh, stab to the beat. Hey, right, you're coming down here too. All right, I'm working towards the left. I'm hoping to find something over here. Not sure why I didn't die, but I suppose I won't look a gift horse in the mouth on that one. I think I got saved by a jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, mighty, and powerful exploding jar. So, uh, Lumi, what do you got for me? You got shit for me. <laughs> Thanks, Lumi. I appreciate that. All right. Okay. Not going that way. What's over there? Uh, a big ass cliff. Ah, come on. A little fall damage never hurt anybody. You could probably work your way down, but I can't. So anyways, I'm about how much uh, time do you have in on this game? You very clearly know what you're talking about. Ow. Farming out some sand wouldn't hurt my feelings any. Alright, I guess I'm I'm a dwarf and I'm mining sand. Hey Pax. <laughs> Now you're just asking for the unreasonable. So it looks like we got some silt by this lava, if we can get a hold of it. Got 
friend coming up behind you. I keep forgetting I don't have fucking climbing claws. Well, I've gotten this up that I could. There's a good chunk of iron here. Decent chunk of platinum, too. Oh no! The cactus of doom! I fucking hate the cactuses of doom. This is definitely the underground desert. I wonder if they changed anything about the underground desert in the recent upgrades. I'd be surprised if they did. I hate you and I hope you die. Oh, hey, he died. I will do everything I can to make that hope a reality. You know, there, there are small dreams in this world, and there are large dreams in this world. And even though killing a cave bat may be a small dream, it's still it's fulfilling. My dream. And it makes me happy. Going deeper into this desert biome is almost certainly a fucking mistake. I know you can get some water based weapons in here. And at this point, any weapon, like, it's a, you know, any port in a storm type of business right here with our weapons. I will just hide in the corner and poke. Poke, Virginia! Poke! Poke as if your life depended on it because it fucking does! So to answer an earlier question from chat, the reason why we use short swords instead of broadswords is they swing much, much faster. And that, uh... Every, difficulty, every hit can't... Or every yeah, hit can't. on this difficulty, every hit fucking counts. Ooh. Fair amount of iron. Okay. That was blind luck, but I'll take it. What'd you get? Nothing. I landed on a trap that ended up dropping a metric foot ton of sand on me, but since I was already up in the air, well, I took a little damage. Nice. <laughs> I hate you, Antillin Larva. I stab you until you die. Mm. 
I, I think my time here is uh, about to come to an end. Auto clicker, help me! Oh my god! 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 Death is literally staring me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll come and pretend to save you. No, you're fine. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. Now I might be in trouble. You're in a corner, man. I fell in a hole. And there wasn't a sword down here, like when Tucker did it. To join us in the Hall of Doom. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. Thank you for trying to save me, Pax. <laughs> Alright, well, there was that. Alright, so. Alright, so we got you're you're not you're you need iron armor, right? Yeah. Okay, there is enough iron here for you to uh to make yourself uh iron armor. Uh Barsnor is one of the boxes I actually created. Since we are very clearly um desperately short on fucking boxes. And there is a new pickaxe for you. Now that did double my armor. The iron? Yeah. Well. Wow. Shit. What did you do? <coughs> Nothing. <laughs> I don't believe you. I made tungsten armor. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be bad armor. Yeah, no, when you said we had enough, I was like, oh, okay, so I'm just going to look for the one with the uh, highest bar count. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. How much tungsten did you get made? It looks like you got all of it. Yeah, no, there was enough for a complete set of armor. Oh, okay then. <laughs> well, I'm going to reforge my iron broadsword into something that isn't a weak iron broadsword then. Hmm, I can do a platinum broadsword. I'm having a platinum for that. Since somebody has tungsten armor. That's the way it ends. I guess the rest of the iron, because I have an iron axe, platinum pickaxe, platinum broadsword, tungsten short sword, so I suppose all things considered, we really, uh, iron is relegated to, uh, like, tracks and shit. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, stone block shouldn't be in here. Mud block shouldn't be in here. Silt block shouldn't be in here. We literally have a, a box for blocks. Oh, uh, didn't see it. You made it. Iron ore shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I think that iron ore was there beforehand then, because that's something I just auto distribute. <laughs> Alright, I guess I need to spend a second and fix our fucking inventory. I mean, I only have four boxes to work with here, but... working with significantly fewer boxes than I'm used to working with here. Sandstone's not used for anything. I got most of it. Hmm. Went back to the desert re region and got uh, or the tungsten. Got a hundred and eight. Oh, okay. Neat. Blocks. For the sake of uh, making room for the box, because I don't want the box over there anymore, because, you know, neuroses. You know, that's actually another thing we can use iron for. Mm. I mean, we can make boxes. We can use it to make boxes, but we can only make brown boxes, and brown boxes are ugly. Though at this particular point in time... Box is a box? Yeah. You know, if we go cut down more wood, I mean, we can make palm wood boxes. Those look sort of nice. We got boreal wood boxes, rich mahogany wood boxes, ebony wood boxes, shade wood. Dude, we can make glowing mushroom boxes. I know you want some glowing mushroom boxes. Just give me two more fucking boxes. Ooh, how about slime boxes? Just give me two more fucking boxes. <laughs> I'm willing to accept ugly boxes at this point. I need more boxes.
Did you not make boxes? Not yet. I was taking a look at a few things. How many do you want? Just a couple of boxes. Two more boxes should be fine. Those are palm wood. <laughs> very nice. Very fancy. I hate Come it. Come on, they do look good. <laughs> this is my Shit's always, always good. I mean, you gotta love shit. Do you have my bug net? Oh, I didn't. I have a bug net, but I'm pretty sure it's mine. Okay, for some odd, I was confusing games. I thought I bought a bug net here. I guess that is, uh... The bunny knew I was getting a bug net. <laughs> and the bunny ran away. Alright, what the fuck gonna do with sandstone? Sandstone into the dumpster. Got it. Well, if we're gonna be doing a fishing biome thing here, you're gonna want sandstone. Oh, you're right. You do want Bunny. some, uh... You don't need a lot of sandstone, but you do need some sandstone. So where are we putting bunnies? Animal. I guess this is just going to be a potion box. Red potion. And that, that gets through just about everything. Um, I guess vanity is sort of kind of the miska box at the moment, but. I have cleared most of my inventory. Buddy! You hunting bunnies? Kinda. I'm running to the west again now that I have better armor at least and see what happens. And since I have the, I'm cutting down grass, I have the bug net, I'll capture bugs, I'll capture bunnies. Um, if we can start farming up worms, then we can start doing fishing. Well, I did catch a few grasshoppers. They work just as good as bait. Um, Scorpion. I am a bot was right about one thing is Fishing is a great way to get mats. That is true. But unless you're doing fishing quests, you have to farm out the mats. Well, if I can get to the ocean. But you might want to expand our housing area just so we can. Um, I'm Dang spelunking at the moment. But next time I die, which probably won't take too awful long. Could be pretty soon.
I'm going to dig back into this mushroom biome. Just because mushroom biomes are the tits. Bees knees. The memories. The memories. They are the memories. It's memory. <laughs> It is memory. Memory is the key. <laughs> All right, well, this is definitely the bottom of the glowing biome. And that is definitely, oh, not death. That's death. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, as soon as you said that's not death, I saw your light or your <laughs> Virginia was eviscerated by a skeleton. <laughs> oh fuck me. I'm assuming you're still trying to get through your desert. No, I'm past the desert now, but I've been slowing down a bit because after I said, hey, you know, expand the housing units, like, okay, I'm not exactly sure how we're doing on trees, so I've been cutting down trees. Fair enough. But I guess I'm home, so bigger house it is, good sir. Um, I guess I'll make you primary since building a bigger house is not amusing. So for those of you watching, the reason why uh, Buddha stream is 30 FPS and kind of buggy is because we're he's streaming to me through Discord. And I'm capturing that stream and then restreaming it through my Twitch with my. It's more uh, important that right now it looks like they're just seeing a black screen. <laughs> I mean, I can see what's going on over there. <laughs> I watched you die, so, you know, there's and apparently that. I accumulated up to one gold, 42 silver. That means you have a gold in your pocket because you lost a gold. Nope. I got 41 silver. Funny! Let's <laughs> mm. see. Funny! You want to drop your wood off? Or throw it at me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the platform on the bottom should be higher priority. You know, just spitballing. <laughs> yeah, there will be a platform there. It's just... <laughs> Eventually. I just started point. building. So, um, it's hard to make it to where the first thing you do is put down a platform. So fall is not an issue. Just like a woman. <laughs> hard is a strong word. So I guess I'm going to be putting the fishing stuff in with the animal bits. That's a good place for it.
Alright, well. Chat? We can't but... use squirrels as fishing bait, can we? Squirrels? No. They they Why wriggle not? too much. <laughs> it catches the attention, it's like worms. <laughs> Unfortunately, we cannot use squirrels for fishing bait, no. See, I just think that the creators of this game did not have a wide enough ima imagination for such an idea. The creators of the game also may not have been fucking psychopaths. So, you know, there's that too. I don't know, they allow us to murder bunnies all the time. It took them how long to make it to where the bunnies could fight back and explode? <laughs> and then they turn them into exploding weapons. I think they're psychopaths. They might be. Uh, generally speaking, uh, computer programmers are on the spectrum. I'm pretty sure I am. Of course, I mean, nowadays, I'll... it's just the end thing to be on the spectrum, so everything's on a spectrum now. Yeah, everything's on a spectrum. Except for my gender. My my gender is binary. I'm comfortable with that. My sanity is on a spectrum. My mental faculties are on a spectrum. But my gender? See, that's where I agree with Ford Prefects, you know. Sometimes, if you want to keep your sanity, you just got to lose it. <laughs> you know, I'm half tempted to go back to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I mean, it's okay. I mean, obviously, the first book is gold. I still think that... Yeah, the third book. I still thoroughly... I mean, the third book had me dying the most. First book is great. Third book is great. Second book, not so much. And then yep. four and five, you can just ignore. Well, there's that book where he meets his girlfriend... That's book four. Yeah, that one's garbage. Um, Especially since book five turns out she just disappears for no reason. It's like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I but mean, it is I, nice I, to know that the Hitchhiker Guide to the Galaxy for All Dimension is what's going to destroy the entire galaxy. So, you know, you embrace it. No, I mean, the one thing I do appreciate about um the girlfriend just fucking disappearing is the the nihilistic nature of the whole you know just because you value something doesn't mean it's not gonna fucking just vanish on you that's just it though it's not like she ran away or something like that she just literally like blinked out of existence or he blinked into an alternate dimension where Earth is now a place that only produces a uh, whatever bug beast that is absolutely unpalatable to everybody. And she's like, oh, oh, okay. Perfectly normal beast. No, that's the other place. No, I know. I just normal love perfectly beast normal beasts. You're out of nowhere and start running through the plains. Oh, this is a great burger. What is it made out of? Perfectly normal beast. <laughs> what are they called for normal <laughs> I am the great sandwich ma or the Bob's only begotten sandwich maker. <laughs> oh, that did have me die. But that was book five and yeah, book five. No, book five was good. It was good, but it was still just... Yeah. It, I, I would argue book five more had its moments than it was good. I mean, Especially I, I, since... I, it's, uh, huh? I, mean, I can agree with that. Well, and that just is, like... I mean, obviously, I'm recalling more now, but it's just, like... 
So, I forget the chick's name, not the girlfriend, the uh, one from the first book. I want to say Trinity, but I don't think it's that. No, it's not. I think Hard and Sandal Lock is useless. You want it if we're going to make the fishing biome. I don't know if we're going to go that far in this game, but if you want to make that fishing biome, you want hardened blocks. Well, hardened sandstone blocks. Well, there's sandstone and then there's hardened sand blocks. I believe you want hardened sand blocks for it. We have sandstone block and we have hardened sandstone block. I believe you want the harden, but like I said, I, at this point, I would just say keep it, even though we are limited. But, but yeah, no, because what happens is, for some odd reason, she also gets transported to the alternate dimension, and she has a kid with him, because they allow you to deposit genetic samples for like free rides or something like that. Yeah. So he's jacking off at every port so he can get a ride. And so she decides to use the only other living human so that she can reproduce. Ends up dropping it off with him. It's just like, wait, what? Yeah, it gets a little wild. Ladybug, ladybug. Ladybug, ladybug. Great brick. Chat, that gives us a bunch of glass, a bunch of gray brick. Why do I want these things? For science. Science. And, and, and aesthetics. Mostly aesthetics. You know, this gameplay has thoroughly increased my appreciation for the short sword. Yeah, no, seriously. Like, the short sword was one of those things that, uh... Why would you touch this? I would usually ignore the short sword. But it, it, it it's fucking solid. It really is. Virginia is working on homemaking again. Uh oh. Oh. What? Okay, yeah. I saw a slime on a balloon and I was thinking, you know. That's just windstorm stuff. Yeah. So anyways, I do have uh, a room ready for um, the angler if you get to the coast. You did not get to the coast.
Now, there's one game I've been kind of having an urge to play lately. Yeah. Um, an epic. Die Trader. Hmm? Fucking platforming games, man. I, yeah, that is a great game. It really is. I just tried to... Because I think the last time I played, I only w really went into it for a little... Or for like... But that's the other thing, too, that it's sort of like a little despondent is the fact that it's like... I remember being able to, uh, you know, play it on the hardest difficulties. I knew how to move around and all that jazz. I knew what to prepare for. And then going back, all of a sudden, it's like I'm moving around like a moron again. It's like, mm. <laughs> Actually, I've been brain. considering uh, resetting my progress if I can, just because... Well, you I can think make a new character, so that's... We're saying your progress doesn't really matter. Well, like, because there's a couple of... There, there's that... I know there's a boss that you only really fight the one time when you, uh... When you find all the secrets, I guess is what it is. Like, I, I forget the specifics of it, but that is one of the few games in this world where I think I went out of my way to 100% the achievements. And the only one that I really remember, and partially because you pointed it out, was the ones where you had to, like, beat the game without killing any ravens. That one was rough. And see, so yeah, it just is. When I prepped for it, it wasn't as... I mean, it was still rough to a certain extent, but ravens are just in a very specific area, so, you know, don't bring the frog with you. Actually, I don't think you could have any summons or whatever with you, because just about everything would attack the ravens, and then that would make you lose. Well, and the big issue was, um... Like, by not attacking ravens, you were giving up, like, two of the magic sources... And if I remember, ravens were the... Eh, it's been too long. I want to say green, but... I know the mosquitoes or whatever were green, and that's where the frog just started to shine. Yeah. No, there was a... Uh... Ravens, uh... They, they're only in, like, four or five rooms, but... Well, not even room. Well, areas, because they were outside... And you had to platform around. And obviously, if the ravens are there, it's harder to platform around. God damn it. So, yeah. I don't think we're going to reach the coast until we're platinumed everything. Either that or we both have to be doing the run. Because I'm just... Yeah. And that's perfectly reasonable. I mean, we already have a few more people in the house, so we were ready to expand. And now yeah. I'm just getting rid of the wood walls because I hate wood walls. I think they're ugly. Ugly, ugly walls. So we can't really... Well, we, I guess we can give it an attempt to the right. You were saying that it looks... Or that the crimson area looks small, but I guess you said it came back with a vengeance. It did. Uh, if we're working together, we can make a run to the right. I think that's perfectly reasonable. I'm just dicking around with the house at the moment. Mm. And you know how long it can take when you're dicking around with the house, you know. At least you don't have ten boxes to reorganize. No, I moved everything around, so... We don't have to... Of course, we really don't have that many boxes either. Reorganizing boxes... 
at this point would maybe take five minutes. Yeah. No, and that's just it. Usually by this time we have, you know, five, ten spares. Yeah, no, the, the fact that we only have uh, six boxes and we only found four of them, that is um, alarming. Like, we have not found shit for treasure. Like, I mean, not really. Like, there are... I just had a thought. Okay. Can't bombs break obsidian? Probably, yeah. I think bombs can break just about fucking anything. So... But I like where um, you're going with this thought. just found ourselves a, a workaround. And we get to click said obsidian. So we can make an obsidian skull. Well, we still need ash, I think. I thought it was just obsidian. I uh, guess I'll go and take a look real quick. obsidian and a furnace and that's one obsidian skull we need seven more for a second one neat Suitable, how's it get suitable? convert these wood walls back to wood, I think. Put those wood walls in the dumpster. Wow, you're making progress on the hell shaft, it looks like. And uh, that's probably gonna be death. I mean... It's only because it's likely to be death. Likely to be death. <laughs> ah, it wasn't death. Yeah, because I hook shot it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a leak. I'll be right back. I didn't want to 
drink a potion. Me of a presence? Are you shit me? Quicker for me to die. Oh, hopefully you can get back quickly. Evil presence is coming, so we have a fun death coming. Dionics. You there? I'm back. What's up? Evil presence being sense. Oh shit. Okay, that's I Cthulhu. Hello, bunny. I don't know how I'm gonna fight him though. I know, you're in a dress. Especially doing him melee style is not exactly conducive to anything. No, fighting him melee is... He's on me now. Stabby, stabby! Stabby, stabby! I'm having a hard time reaching him. Well, I just deposited all my money and stuff, so... No, if I'm gonna fight this asshole, I'm at least gonna need like a bow or something. Well, and that's where I was trying to recall, like, didn't we start using a uh, special word and we did like expert? I think we had to come in here with a bow and flaming arrows. I, I think we had some magic too, some magic wands. Yeah, well, magic wands would be nice, but that's, uh, we might be able to forge it, I guess. And gone. We weren't going to beat him. No. Well, that just is. It wasn't even until he got here that it's like, wait a minute. How are we going to even poke him? Yeah, no. Um, we can use amethyst. We can use gems to make magic wands. But it also may be worth it to, uh, um, cause, all right, we have, I guess we only have three platinum. We can make a couple of tungsten bows. I mean, that'll at least give us a chance. Can make diamond robe. Hmm. But yeah, now from the look of it, it's ten tungsten bar and eight of the or eight of a gem. All right, so that is not. Super conducive, yeah.
We need to get more ore. So yeah. I think going on the hell shaft is going to help us. How much rope do you have? 143. I figured this was ultimately going to be a suicide dig, honestly. Good, mate. Graveyard again. Me. I died. Okay, I ran out of rope. We're about. Yeah, this would be great for a bow. How about a shroomerang? Can you make that? I found one. Oh. Shroomerang should be great. Got a guy coming down. Speed is. That's a solid fucking item. Yeah, no, if I remember right, the shroomerang was a good mid range or mid game weapon.
why you're having such an issue. Hmm? We have some exploring to do. Oh. <laughs> no! Underwater, it's all dark. Got me some flippers. That makes me a happy princess. Or wife. Mining pants. Everybody takes you seriously spelunking when you have mining pants. Okay. At least it didn't kill me. a bomb. And a cave bet. Yeah, this particular uh, train track goes right into the lava. Best mine car ever. Mm -hmm. Just so you don't kill yourself, I'm gonna break the goddamn mine track. So I know how you like to um, run the rails. Speed, yeah. So I'm cutting out the center, but I have no rope, so... Eh! Okay, so I got knocked off by some angry slimes. Thank you. 
You know, I'm actually pretty mad at myself now with those missed chat messages from earlier. Understandable. I mean, like, that was potentially three well, see, follows that's... we missed, you know? Like, well, see, the big thing with that, too, oh, is the fact that he was quite engaged, too, where he was respond or he was, you know, chatting and whatnot, not just observing. And, you know, the same could be said of the other three, you know, I mean, you start chatting with a streamer, you kind of expect them to, to talk back, you know, like. And so it's like I'm better than mine then, because I don't, the slime is still there. Yeah, I mean, we had one earlier today, but we've had two in the last week that chatted. Well, maybe. I was going to say, I don't think so. I mean, over since we've started, I think we've missed maybe one or two. Do you have but, any bombs uh, on you? Yeah. Do you have the ability to teleport to me? Yeah. You I mean, I don't know if this is going to be meaningful or not, but, uh... We need. I, I want to be able to break that obsidian. Guard my back. You got it. Yeah, no, this could be an interesting little. I just broke the cart or the line. I mean, we can fix that. That's not the problem. The fairy wants us to go that way. Got two more left, so at least I'll be able to open the path. Yeah, the path is open. That's a heart. Worth it. You should have enough to make a skull now. This is another mushroom biome. So there's more hearts here. More chests. More chests, more hearts. More pain, more sadness. Everything. More ore. Oh, yeah, sun! Oh, okay. Um. God damn it, the house is mine. Wait, 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 get your ass back here. some speed but to be fair I don't depend on that for speed I was say it's six more damage yeah well that that's what I'm saying though with the broadsword it's like okay eh, it's an upgrade my the broadsword I have had 
had increased speed, but even then. Honestly, I'm kind of offended that it took you that long to go, okay, this is better. Oh no, I took it right away. It's just one of those things that stuck out where it's like, I'm losing a little bit of speed for this. But to be fair, the only thing I care about speed-wise is the short sword. Yeah. Grants immunity to fire block. <clears throat> okay, extended the rope, but it's not getting you down to safety. No, I, I will extend the rope some more. I'm just dicking around in town at the moment. How the hell did you get over there? Um up and over yeah but you had a bunch of dirt blocks to the way i mean it's possible that uh that shit showed up after the fact but yeah no that's it was a pretty straightforward uh jaunt i suppose Armored cloud and a bottle. That was right fucking there, too. I mean, I guess to be fair, I already had an armored cloud in the bottle, but... Yeah, there was nothing else of note in there, sadly. Unless you really want an archery potion. Not particularly, no. Once I, uh, Hulk smash my fucking e-cigarette. Got enough ore to make it meaningful to forge some shit. I just got enough. Never Art. mind, Blood Moon. I guess suicide is the best option. You don't have recall potions? Nope. There we go. I could use uh, an additional DPS over here, so well, that should do it. Your short sword and my broadsword. Bloody tear, that's nice. We can summon this again if we're feeling masochistic. So anyways, um... Uh, there's this, we're, we're in this locker room, and, um, there's a bunch of dudes standing around in a locker room, and, uh, uh, a phone rings in the locker room, and this guy goes over to the phone, picks it up, and answers it, and goes, hey, what's up? And, uh, he's talking to this woman, and she's like, hey, honey, like, I, I, I know we're sort of kind of worried about money, but... I found this a purse that's, you know, only $2,000. And it's like, it seems like a really good deal. 
And the guy goes, yeah, you know what? You, you're worth it. You know, you go ahead and buy the purse. And she goes, oh, really? Okay, thank you. And then she goes, well, there's also this uh, this car that I've been wanting to buy. Um, that It's only $100,000. And the guy goes, you know what, baby? You're worth it. Go, go ahead and go buy that car. And uh, she goes, well... I mean, as long as you're being generous, there's a, uh, there's that house I've been looking at that's only a million dollars. And the guy goes, you know what? I love you, baby. I, don't, I just want to make you happy. So, you know what? Go ahead and buy the house. It doesn't even matter. We'll, we'll make it work. And he goes, oh my God, that's so amazing. I, I, I you know, I love you. And you know, I'll talk to you when you get home. I'm like, yeah, I'll talk to you when I get home too. And then he hangs up the phone call and he puts the phone down and he goes, Hey, does anyone know whose phone this is? Yeah. Well, see, honestly, that's where I wasn't sure if it was the... The gym phone or something like that. And she just assumed it was her husband. In which mm. case, it's like... So, how was the phone call? Oh, I don't know, but some poor bastard now is going to have to pay over a million dollars for what just happened. But yeah, no, it's a, uh, it was a funny joke. I thought, I mean, I saw the punchline coming when I heard it. Yeah. But oh well, for me the punchline was uh, wrong number. But uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's the same joke regardless, you know. I was gonna say I think I've heard all three. But then again, like you were saying, you know, guessing the punchline a mile away, it's quite possible. It's like, well, it's not his phone. He's misunderstood that it's his phone, or not his phone. It's misunderstood on a public phone, or it's a wrong number. Yeah, there's only a handful of punchlines with that particular uh, run of, you know. Seems like more of these people might think you're sexy if you want to do the next run out. I don't. <laughs> if I go out there, I'll die. I won't be able to get back in the house. Oh, you don't trust my stabby stabby? So you got it back in the house. Now go further next time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, there's this guy. He's working on a... Uh, he, he's a... Uh, he's a skydiver. He's a... You know, he, and he's going out to... You know, he's doing a big old skydive or whatever. You know. Ah, come on! You know, whatever professional skydivers do. Anyways, um, so he's out there, he's doing his skydiving thing. And, uh, ow! So he's doing his skydiving thing, he jumps out of the, out of the plane, and, and, uh, Uh, and, uh, and, uh, anyway, so he's uh, he jumps out of the plane. He he pulls his uh, his primary chute. Nothing happens. Pulls his secondary chute. Nothing happens. And he's like, "Oh shit, I, I, I'm about to die. I mean, I, I'm just gonna fucking die here." And as he's falling, um. He sees another guy coming up towards him at incredible speed. Like, it's just crazy fast. And he goes, yeah, maybe this guy can help me. And he goes, hey, do you know anything about parachutes? And the guy shouts back, no, do you know anything about gas stoves? <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> you know, I don't remember the the fucking um the money drop being this rare of a drop. Well, we weren't killing them after 50 hits, so... That is true. Maybe we were dealing with them at a much faster rate. So anyways, this guy dies, he goes to heaven. And, um... It is, it, well, it's very, very sad. Um, but the important part of this joke is, uh, his brother died like six weeks earlier. Mm -hmm. So his brother died, you know, a couple months ago and then he died. Um, anyways, so the guy dies, he goes up to heaven, he's talking to St. Peter and St. Peter's all like, Hey man, is there anything I can do to to, you know, to help your transition into the afterlife? And the guy goes, you know what? I love my brother. I'd really like to know how my brother is doing. And St. Peter goes, are you sure your, your, your brother is in hell? And the guy goes, yeah, no, no, he's my brother. I love him. I, I want to know how he is, you know, what he's doing. And St. Peter goes, okay, I'll, I'll show you. So St. Peter opens up this portal to hell to this guy's brother. And he's sitting there and he sees his brother He's got a keg in one arm and uh, a hooker in the other. And the brother goes, it, are you sure that's hell? It doesn't look like he's doing so bad. And St. Peter goes, yeah, he is. What you don't realize is the keg has a hole in it and the hooker doesn't. I mean, I'm sure you've heard that joke before, but chat hasn't. Yeah. Let me know, chat. Was that a great joke? Oh, shit, son. Got one. Shark tooth necklace. Well, the thing that gets me about the shark tooth necklace is I don't know if our damage is because they have armor or just they just have a shit ton of health. I mean, it just can't hurt, hurt, right? Why did you throw two gold at me? I mean, because I... one. Oh, I got a shark tooth too, and it improves my defense. But uh, because when you died, I picked up one gold, and I'm or and it was yours. And when I died, I picked. Oh, there's a uh, enough amethyst for you to make a a hook shot. Nice. Hook shot! I'm assuming you jacked all the bars. Yeah, I have all the bars in my pocket right now. Um, I fully intended to... Uh, well, when the Blood Moon happened, I was reforging everything. That's right. And so... So if you want to throw your ore at me, I'm just making bars. No, I have no ores. Your cell, your cell. I'm putting some furniture into... Whoa! I'm putting some furniture into the um, wall box or what have you. Sounds like a good, good place for it. Huh. 
<laughs> Sounds like that was Yoink from Link to the Past. So you made full tungsten and gear, right? Yeah, I have a full. Well, I have a full set of tungsten armor. Twenty. 45, 60. Oh, I can make some too. Okay. And make an obsidian skull. I did make an obsidian skull. All right. So, no real rush, but when you're done doing what you're doing, I say we call it. and taking names and uh, I guess it's okay. Grasshopper, grasshopper. Burning a little brightly tonight or just tired? Just tired. Okay. I'm good to call it, whatever. Okay, caught some worms, caught some grasshoppers. Thanks for joining us. At least we're doing somewhat good by the end of this. <laughs> sort of fix our shit. Anyways, um, thank you for tuning in tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you're still here, please consider following. It really helps the stream. It really helps us. Well, it helps our ego. Um, I, I guess there's that. We're, we're on the road to affiliates, so right now we're just, you know, whores for followers, basically. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, um, we will we'll probably be back tomorrow. Um, you good to stream tomorrow, Buddha? I think I'll be. By the same time, I'm thinking I still want to take on those guardian beasts for the next three hours. All right. So um, it probably won't be Terraria tomorrow, but we'll probably be streaming tomorrow. So um, well, there might be some based on what um, Hippo or Crunk or whatever his name was. Jordan. Well, <laughs> I didn't want to say his actual name, but okay, Jordan. I, no one's going to figure out who he is. I, I don't think. <laughs> there's like three Jordans in the world, man. Yeah, there's three Jordans in the world. So as soon as they figure out who the Jordan is in the United States, very clearly his identity is a uh, suspect. Anyways. It's not Canadian <laughs> to me, but okay. <laughs> Welcome to our stream, eh? We like uh, poutine and uh, fucking donkeys. Or I don't what know what that's about, but... <laughs> Speaking of which, they legalized bestiality in Canada, so for those of you looking for travel suggestions... <laughs> and you know what? It's Canada. It sucks there. It's run by Justin Trudeau. Very clearly, the best thing to do there is to eat poutine, fuck goats, and get high on pot. I was gonna say Maybe not in that particular order. Maybe you get high on pot and then you fuck goats. I don't know what you do up in Canada. You know, Canadians are funny. 
I wonder this... what a uh, bestiality brothel house looks like. <laughs> like it has like snakes <laughs> hanging on hooks and shit. And... Well, it's her like, <laughs> you know, you, I, I'm assuming you still want some privacy. So like, is the, the barn area, you know, a little more secluded, more walled off? Do, do they walk by? Is there the picture of the goat, the horse or whatnot? And she's like, this is Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> we call this Big Steve. Uh, uh, you know, whatever floats your boat, we provide. <laughs> Do they right. have to provide STD checks? It's entirely possible. I'm pretty sure that uh, fucking barnyard animals has a potential of causing STDs. Well, to be fair, well, I don't know about when it comes to STDs, but uh, plenty of our diseases actually came from animal husbandry, you know. Um, God, I wish I could remember what they were. But yeah, no, they're, they're like, I think the whooping cough came from uh, cows, you know, putting a bunch of them in one area and then it, you know, uh, evolved to where it could interact with humans so that it affected a farmer, then it affected the family, then it affected the neighborhood, then it affected the city, blah, 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 blah. But, yeah, no, it, it's one of those things I remember hearing. I haven't verified, so, you know, maybe I'm just making shit up right now. But it, it was a fascinating little tidbit. And that's Buddha making shit up live on stream. <laughs> I'm great at it. And I'm totally believable. Just watch us if we ever or broadcast us playing Among Us. I'm either a prophet and everyone believes what I said, or I'm the Antichrist, in which case... I'm like Zionix, and I'm one of the first to get thrown out for no reason whatsoever, even though I'm rarely ever the goddamn imposter. Unlike Zionix. I'm frequently the first one out. And, but I am frequently the imposter, so... They win yeah, I... because of, um... Superstition, <laughs> I guess, is the... No, uh, just a random. My favorite is still, so, uh... We've played, uh, let's say the last three times, we'll play for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, but it's usually an hour, so, you know, fairly quick games. And out of the last three hours that we played, it was one time, and it was like the last or second to last time we played, I was finally the imposter again. I went on a murder rampage, and I killed three people, my buddy, well, my uh, imposter friend, killed one and nobody found a body i just went on a spree just like cow 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 <laughs> even my imposter buddy was like how's the game over already <laughs> <laughs> all right so out. with with that in mind uh, i think we're gonna call it uh thank you for tuning in thank you for watching um if you're watching on twitch please consider following if you're watching on youtube um Smash that like button. Ring the bell. Crush the whatever. Nah, I, don't, I, I don't even care anymore. Do whatever the fuck you want to do, man. Um, and enjoy it. And enjoy it. Yeah, you know, Live your life. Live, be your best you. Be your best person. Um, as long as you're not a feminist. Yeah. Fuck those people. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> thank you for watching and good night. Ha <laughs> ha.